What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to The Jam with K-Magic 101 and King Italian, the podcast about nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I hope everybody's having a good evening. Let's go ahead. We got a new overlay from Captain Twaz. Look he, at this shit. It's, he is he is. I can see your wizard. elbow extreme right now. Look at that. At, this, least, at least we're facing the right the, way now. We're, yeah, we're facing the right way right now. Um, we're going to start off the night oh, uh, with, with the tradition of extremely terrible brews. Um, this week was my turn to bring an extremely terrible brew. It's in a black bag. It's That's a, never a good It's in a sign. black bag. What do you guys think? What do you think about this? What's this is in the mystery bag. Guys? This is this is an extremely terrible brew. Are you ready? No, but go ahead. I'm going to Oh no, not Steel Reserve! <laughs> oh no! We got this is so bad. We got Steel Reserve tonight, guys. It's absolute garbage. Oh no, this it's is so bad. I've had this before. Oh, and look, it says exceptionally smooth flavor. On exceptionally, it. it's slow brewed. Lies. Slow brewed Steel Lies. Reserve. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. It's brewed so fucking slow, Kevin. You Somebody <laughs> in chat called it, apparently. Oh, damn it. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> oh, it smells like, like a nutsack when it's really oh. sweaty. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's so bad. Oh. <laughs> what? How is this company in business? What is this? Oh, man. It's not beer. No, it's, it's like it's like halfway between beer and like a like an alcohol syrup. Ooh. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad, guys. Who babe, the fuck drinks this? Babe, I saw you in chat before. I'm sorry for what I'm gonna do to the bathroom when I get home. <laughs> Danny, what's up, lady? I did this to you. <laughs> <sighs> he ruined your night. Mm. Oh man. How, oh, do, how oh. do I know what a nutsack smells like? I have one. Yeah, like, come on, like, you don't know what your nutsack smells like. Seriously? <laughs> have you ever smelt your own chair? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, good. Good, because I've smelt my own chair before, and it's, chair it's always a negative experience. You always smell your own stuff just to see how it smells. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I'm sort of proud when it smells really bad. Like, I'm less disgusted by my shit smell than, like... Well, yeah, that's, that's how shit works. You're less disgusted by your own smell than you... Or... For me, not even disgusted at all. Okay, you're like you're proud of it. Like this not is not proud of it, but this I, is what my dookies did. I'm okay with it, but I have had a few where I, my wife has said that in the past, if if I get like like probably tonight now with this, uh, I have farted so much and it's been so gross that the smell has woken her up. The smell. <sighs> this was a bad choice. Gunny, you know, Gunny said he smelt your chair before. Gunny, Gunny says he's Gunny. You smelled my chair, like sitting in my chair, or like leaned over while you were here and smelled yeah, Gunny's chair when he because got Gunny, off. Gunny, Cheriona, um, Gunny, Cheriona, and and I saw Leah Love's Chief was in stream. Have all been in this room before? I feel like this room smells fine. I think it's a good smelling room. I don't think this room smells. I think it's a good. Smelling I'd be completely room. honest about that. Yeah. I like how the the chat program I chose for chat to be up on screen like kind of looks like sort of low def. I'm into it. Yeah, it, it matches the overlay. Yeah, that was an accident. It matches the overlay. Yeah, I don't know. Every I guess everybody else puts like their Twitch chat on dark mode and then um and then they and then they do the damn thing with it or some shit. I don't know, dude. No, everything matches and it looks great. Thank yeah. you so much, Captain Twaz. Captain Twaz knocked it out of the park, dude. Um everything looks wonderful. Now you could do all the follow things and we're on we're on iTunes now. We are officially on iTunes. Number one podcast on iTunes this week. That definitely didn't happen. Number number one podcast on iTunes. Prove it wrong. That did that didn't happen. Let's pull it up. Okay. Yeah. How do we pull up the stats for it? Does it show the stats? No, that's only through the host program. Oh, so like it won't show me how many views no. it has, how many clicks it has? Apple is super stupid and private about all of that. Really? Yeah, they don't show anything publicly. It's all in your hosting program. Oh, that's interesting. So it doesn't like, how does it prioritize things then? They know, they just don't share it with the public. So you'll see the top five podcasts for that group on sure. iTunes. And that group will, uh, iTunes, uh, Apple will know the, the stats on it, but they don't share it with the public. It's just like, this is the number one podcast for gaming this week. Oh, did I, did I click on Edge? I didn't mean to click on Edge. Where's my fucking... 
Where's the goddamn at? I'm blind. I can't see. What did you do? I don't know where Chrome is. Where's Chrome? Oh, Chrome's right here. There we go. Did you really click on Edge? I clicked on Edge. I'm sorry. Have you used Edge? Edge isn't bad. Uh, I mean, it's I've, much better. I have bad Internet Explorer it's, memories. It's better than Internet Explorer for sure. Like, I don't mind Edge at all. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I, well, if you have Google Chrome, why do you use Edge? I use Firefox sometimes, but mostly Google Chrome. So, yeah, you, you can go to iTunes and look. Okay. I mean, like, what'll... It won't show it won't the count. Show It'll shit. just show the rate, the ratings, the reviews, and the subs... Is it iTunes.com? Is it iTunes.com? I don't know if you can search the... Tr you might need the program. Really? Yeah. They're super dumb when it comes God, to I iTunes. God, I hate Apple, dude. I mean, I'm not going to download iTunes right now. Well, hit, hit the little... The little the little uh, seeing eye glass up there and this? see if you can search. Uh, find the jam? Find a store, maybe? Really? What? Find a store right there, see? No, that's going to find an Apple store for you. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, then you have to download it. Who the fuck is there. going to this Apple store? It's in uh, Zorlu Center in Istanbul. That's a nice one in that's Amsterdam. That's a really nice Apple store. I want to go to Amsterdam I so want bad. Yo! I've been in that Apple store. You've been in that Apple store? I've been in that Apple store. Is it actually a store? Yeah, it's just, it's below. It's below the ground. It's below the ground. Yeah. Why would they put it below the ground? That's what Apple decided to do. That's really weird. That's a weird choice. I don't know why they would do that. FAO Schwartz, the big toy store, used to be right next to it too, but that's gone. All right. Now I'm interested in what else they've done with Apple stores. Just put, like, weird Apple stores. Yeah, like, I'm going to put in weird Apple stores. While he's doing that, guys, if you could rate, review, and subscribe on, on iTunes, that would be terrific. Uh, if you're more of a video person, uh, Goth has it up on his YouTube. Yep, top. And for your Android freaks that want nothing to do with iTunes, it's also on Stitcher Radio. So please, guys, just go subscribe and uh, support, and that would be awesome. Thanks. I love you all. There's, I'm not, like, I'm not intrigued by any of these Apple stores. What's this one? Uh, Michigan Avenue. I fucking I no hate this is. guy. With the red know? shirt? Yeah, no, I fucking that's, hate this that's guy. That's not a real store. That's that's an architectural rendering, because that looks like... So this guy's not a real guy? No, well, he might have be like, a picture. Like, can I sleep better tonight not knowing that this guy's a real guy? He might be a picture of a real guy, but he was dropped into that photo. That like, I don't want to offend anybody, but his girlfriend looks like a real bitch. What if he's in chat? I don't know. Hey, Brosco, or whatever your name is. Like, Brosco. Like, what the fuck is going on with you, dude? Who the hell names their kid Brosco? I don't know. Like, I wouldn't name my kid Brosco. No, he... you wouldn't. You wouldn't name your dog Brosco. I don't know if I name my my dog Brosco. I don't. Fucking know. guy in a red shirt. Ah, uh, Podbean. What the that's, fuck is? That's the host. That's the host. We don't use Podbean. We use something else. Hosting's not important for you guys, though. You don't care. Oh about my that. god, dude. This... So. Uh, guys, if you want to sit in, in Goth's Discord, Discord, you can fit in Goth's Discord, uh, in the waiting room, and we might pull you in randomly. We might, we might pull you in randomly. If the you guys only sit in the thing Discord. we ask is that you be ready at any moment to be dragged in. People are yelling at, at me about Snip because Snip has been broken. Uh, did you update Spotify? Yeah. That's why. Well, I mean, like, the dude is usually really good about updating the thing. Oh, really? I've been using the same version of Snip for a year and the same old version of Spotify for a year. Yeah, I tried to roll it back once and then it just updated itself. You just so if you just click keep the download file yeah. and just click it when your computer starts, it'll yeah. do it and it, it there's you don't do anything else. That's it. Literally takes 10 seconds. I don't want to do that. All right. Well, then I just want everything Snip's to be broken and that's the end of that. No, course. I just want everything to be ready when I get on. Like, I could check and see if Snip got an update, but well, I'm pretty sure it didn't. Why don't you hire a pre-stream assistant? That way you can just roll out of bed in the morning, and everything's ready to go when you wake up. Is that up. a thing that exists? It can be. Does anyone in chat want to apply to be... A pre-stream... Goth's pre-stream assistant? A pre-stream assistant. I think I lost chat. I clicked off of it. Uh -oh. Sorry. Now we won't know. No, they're right here. I, I mean, we can see them up there, too. We, we won't know, but that's delayed yeah. for us. Is it delayed? I don't think so. I think it's delayed by, like, a second. It's on OBS. See? It's right oh, there. No, that, that no that's good. legit that good. for us. That's good right there. That's good shit. There it is. There's all the people applying. So, yeah, it, in Discord, and then also in, in uh, after Goth raided me, thank you, by the way, last night, uh -huh. um, my chat and I came up with a hashtag. We're going to change the hashtag every week. If you want to ask a question on Twitter, you can tag me. You don't have to tag Goth. Just tag me, put hashtag MetSuck, and hashtag the jam with whatever your question is. We already have two questions, so we might grab those later in the, in the show. 
I want to finish this quick so I can move on to good beer. But I'm it's so trying bad. to, and it I'm just trying to hurts my it. soul. How much does the uh, the stream assistant pay, Corey? Uh, I don't know, man. What's a what's a good going rate for a job? You just can you just created the job, so you you have to create the uh, ten dollars an hour. Ten dollars an hour to be Corey's stream assistant. To be my stream assistant. There you go. Ten dollars an hour. Gunny's got it. You can copy that. Pants pants optional. Copy that, tag me and Twitter. You don't have to tag Goth. You can if you want to, and whatever, with whatever your question is. No guarantees. 55K but. with benefits? No, I'm not going to pay that. <laughs> $10 an hour. $300 a day? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's literally like an hour's worth of work, guys, so it's $10. <laughs> yeah, you get, to, you get to drive here or fly. Uh, you have to... You have to Breakfast is key. Bacon must be ready. Uh, coffee. Fifteen bucks an hour is a super tight tank. That looks that looks obnoxious. All right, fifteen dollars an hour in a super tight tank, and you have to you have to come up with something really awful to say about Brosco every day. <laughs> I hate this guy, dude. Like, can I want to make this my fucking save that save that image so we can always yeah we're gonna save this image. Bros save image. Brosco save is gonna be a thing around here. Brosco. We're going to save Brosco. Do you think we can make Brosco just pop up in the corner of the screen by me the same way the whoop dee used to Whoopsie. do in Mortal Kombat? Uh, just randomly. <laughs> for no reason. I, like, for no reason? For no reason. Do you think Do you think you could have, like, a chat bot that if, like, people figure out the word of a day? How come there's no, like, Pee Wee's Playhouse word of the day bot? It, someone would have to write the script, but it could easily yeah, be done. Yeah, that could be easily be done, and it, like, hooks up with an API. And, but it has to have a cooldown on it, you know, and it pops up with whoever's name said it. Yeah, no, I'd be down with that. Cooldowns are important for stuff like that. Oh, no, you wouldn't be able to spam it. <laughs> but let's say, let's say every day I wake up and I said a word of the day. And then you guys have to figure out what the word of the day is. I like, like I it. won't fucking ta tell you. I won't tell you. I like it. You like it? I like it. Oh, my God, dude. Can guys, someone do this? Can someone make that script, please? Uh... Um, oh my gosh, can you make a K-Goth Brosco emote? K-Goth Brosco? <laughs> yeah, a word of the day bot, dude. How fucking cool would that be? God, I'm smart. Pretty I think smart. you should do that. Yeah, be I'd do that idea. on my channel. I think that's a great idea. Holy shit. This beer is so bad. Uh, Discord audio didn't transfer into Apple Podcasts. What do you mean? Yeah, it did. Absolutely did. Did you listen to it? Yeah, I listened to it today. You sure about that? 100%. Like when we pulled people in? Yeah. The whole thing. The whole, it's a, it's a, I don't know why Discord Audio wouldn't pull into... Actually, Discord Audio in the Apple iTunes podcast was so bad when that one guy was feeding back, I had to take my headphones off. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, tested it, I tested it on my iPad. I yeah. tested it on my laptop. I tested it on uh, my phone, on Stitcher. I tested it. That guy's um, name you know is Chip stuff. Richelson. Chip... <laughs> Chip Rich Richelson, he's a uh, he's a hedge fund baby. Of course. Oh, it's bad beer, Kevin. That's not my fault. That's your fault. You have to outdo this. Um, so the first question tweeted uh -huh. today. Yeah. Well, this was actually yesterday after my stream. Sure. Uh, it's from Cart Dog TV. Cart Dog TV. Uh, do you have a favorite Coen Brothers movie? Dead air. That's like, uh... Mine's Big Lebowski. I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to IMDB that? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's figure out everything they've... Yo, let's IMDB that. Well, mine would be Big Lebowski, which I had to see, like, four uh, times before I truly it, appreciated it. Is it, like, Cohen? C-O-E-N. That's the wrong... That's... C-O... I don't know how you do this with the multiple Cohen, keyboards. Cohen Brothers? There you go. Co Cohen Brothers. Cohen Brothers movies. IMDB. Where's... Just type in movies. There you go. There's a list right there. There's a list. Uh, I mean, Fargo's good. Mine's uh, Big Lebowski. Here's Big Lebowski. Mm -hmm. Big Lebowski's really good. Bridge of Spies is a Coen Brothers movie? Is I didn't it? know that. I've never... I'll tell you which one of these I've never seen. Never, 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 never. I've never seen Romance and Cigarettes. I've seen what? Bad Santa. I like Bad Santa a lot. <clears throat> Is this where they stopped making movies? I guess so. They're they not stopped. in chronological order. They're just there. Oh, they're not in chronological? They look, though, they're not. Raising Arizona is a good movie. Um, I've seen Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I hate Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And yeah, I get I didn't so care much for that. shit for that movie. Um, Fargo's great. I didn't see Hail Caesar. I heard no. it was good, though. 
I liked Burn After Reading. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, rather, I enjoyed that. That was pretty good. True Grit was great, too. Mm. Yeah, someone just said, my oh, brother were out there. They're probably going to... Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. It tastes like booty oh, butts. God, what is this? It's Steel Reserve. What the fuck is Steel Reserve? Um, we do have to take a moment, though. And we forgot to do this for the intro. Fife Dog. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Fife Dog passed overnight. Do we have, do we have a... I don't know if we had a cause of death. I know. I think they released a statement, but I was eating dinner. Yeah, no, that, that we sucks. Talking, Fife Dog, you know. uh, for me... You can talk about it too, but for me, that was Tribe Called Quest is top tier for hip hop. I mean, life. that's that was my gateway to hip hop, dude. Yeah, yeah they weren't my, my gateway, but they were definitely. I still to this day, I play them on stream just like you. It's they're one of my favorites. But yeah, that really sucks about Five Dog, and he was young. He was what in his mid fifties, forty five. Oh my 45. god, I didn't even realize he was that young. How real is that to you? That's scary. We're close it's, to that. It's really scary. Oh, for me. Complications for me with diabetes. That's what you guessed when we were out before. Complications with diabetes? Yeah, that's what I guessed. Oh, that's To terrible. reiterate exactly what you just said. That's terrible. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to give you this. Um, I'm going to take it out. Actually, I actually have a case for it downstairs. Um, you need me a case, too? Yeah, I have a case for it. Damn, Corey. Because this is a collector's item. But I forgot. I forgot to give Kevin a 3DS last week to play Pokemon. Man, that is sexy looking. Show them. That's, I mean, I, I've had a couple of these. I gave one away a few months ago. Um, but I don't... This is that, is... that is a cool looking gold on there. I'm keeping the other Zelda one for myself because I love Zelda. I think you should. But Majora's, this, is, this Maj is great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't come with a charger. Um, I think I can get one on No, I think I have like four chargers downstairs. <laughs> I, have, I have a Star Wars case. Uh-huh. That looks like what? It's red with stormtroopers on it. Okay. And and Pokemon. And Pokemon. It's hot. Steel Reserve is bottom of the barrel. That's hot. It is hot. It's real hot. I just need you to lend me a Pokemon game now. What? Which one are you gonna lend me? And why are they they different from one to the other? This is so awkward. He told it's me very he's gonna awkward. do this, and um, I don't know how to react while he does it. The only they're 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 different from each other uh, just because like the Pokemon that can spawn in each game is different so like if you have like one of the pokemons pokemon uh -huh. if you have one of the pokemons then uh you can't get all the pokemons um unless you unless you have both versions or you have a friend that has the other version oh is that why people do that the trading and trade at events yeah. and stuff like that okay, yeah I yeah exactly <laughs> yes that, that is sense. why i don't know i don't know i haven't played pokemon <clears throat> since i was 13 and i'm a lot i think they're saying you didn't know about the close cam Oh, I know about the close cam. It, I just don't know how to react during close cam. You don't need to know how to react. You just, you just let it happen, man. Okay. That you know? seems to be the vibe around here, but thank you for the DS. This is awesome. Yeah, you enjoy that. I'm going to use it. You use that. I think it has Majora's Mask preloaded. What? Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure. Can I turn it on? Yeah, you can turn it on. Well, I mean, does it have I battery think, life? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, it's never been turned on. It's got Majora's. I'm going to play the shit out he's of Majora's gonna, Mask in bed. He's just never going to speak the rest of the stream. He's like, sorry, guys. I'm playing Majora's Mask. Playing Majora's Mask. Yeah. They should have it preloaded. I think yeah, you got to do right. initial I, I gotta, setup. Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Yeah, that's, that's busy work. That's no. women's work. My wife's going to hate yeah. that. <laughs> Whenever I get a new 3DS, I'm like, babe, set up my 3DS. <laughs> That's woman's work for you, <laughs> a woman. <laughs> so, um, I know you saw the tweet, but people, I see people passing by. Uh, chat hooked me up with a new desk chair. Which yeah, I yeah, I saw week. that. Yeah. And uh, Spazzy Prof wanted to name the desk chair, so we ran a straw poll last night, and they came up with a bunch of names. Butt Stallion was one. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Uh, Butt Jangles was another one. Did you play Borderlands? Do you know why Butt Stallion's relevant? No. I played Borderlands 2. I played through Borderlands 2. I mean, yeah, like, but Stallions and Borderlands 2. Now that you say that, I remember that. Mm -hmm. It didn't connect last night. But thank you. All right, man. But the name that won was Corey. Yeah, like, you, you <laughs> named your fucking chair. They named. They named my chair. No, I mean, like, you went along with it, though. What was I supposed to say? No, we're not naming the chair Corey. I mean, yeah. But it was funny. Take this 3ds back. <laughs> you mad? Are you mad about it? No, that's fine. I mean, if you wanna, 
Buddy McButtface. Did you hear about the boat? Oh, Buddy McBoatface. <laughs> I need to. I need to look at this boat. I wasn't aware that it actually happened. No, it didn't actually happen. That's a oh. rendering. But still, the picture is is amazing. Buddy McBoatface. <laughs> Bodie McBoatface, uh, Bodie McBoatface, you, <laughs> what you get when you let the internet decide. Never put an internet poll. Look uh, at this. Look. <laughs> a proposal by a British government agency to let the internet suggest a name for a 287 million uh, um, polar research ship probably seemed like a good idea at the time. Now the agency <laughs> is the latest group to see what happens when web users ask to unleash the creative energy. RS RRS Bodie McBoatface <laughs> clear front runner. <laughs> People quickly disregarded the more uh, dignified name suggested by Natural Environment Research Council Shackleton Endeavor Falcon. Instead, the contest became of the latest uh, internet's long storied history to end up <laughs> with social media users gleefully offering ridiculous names to government funded projects. So Bodie McBoatface. Um, <laughs> It's literally the best name for a boat. Oh my god, it's so good, dude. Now I'm kind of mad chat didn't come up with Cherry McChairface. Cherry McChairface. Maybe we'll have a revote. We'll have a revote. Yes, Kevin sits on Corey all the time. I'm Not terribly yet. sorry Not about this. <laughs> my apologies. Oh my god. Is it? Wait, wait. Go. What was the second tweet? I'm what? sorry. Was it say my apology my for Bodie McBoatface was in the most British sense? I stand by it being a brilliant name. <laughs> That's terrific. You know, my my hat, my figurative hat goes off to them um, for coming up with Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> I just, I wish that would have come to fruition at some point. <laughs> All right, let's take another question. Uh, Swolberham Lincoln. What's up, Swolly? How you doing, buddy? Uh, he wants to know what your favorite beer is, God. It's tough. Um, uh, probably Dunedin, Dunedin Apricot. Okay. It's so good. It's that refreshing. Good. It goes it with most food. Um, I look. I like to look for a beer that can that can pair with food really easy, and it's not like a real heavy beer. I think we talked about this last week, but Ben's always drinking like the super heavy shit. I like I like a lighter beer. Although um, tonight it was liquor for Ben. Yeah, it was liquor for Ben tonight. Straight liquor. Just straight liquor. Le fin du monde. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to have that in the house anymore. <laughs> I'm outlawed from it. Got him in trouble. You did get me in trouble. Sorry. Uh, would that would be time. that would be my favorite though. La Fin du Ma is definitely my yeah? favorite. It's uh it's smooth, it's crisp, it's delicious on a hot sunny day, and it gets you <laughs> messed up very quickly. Um Bodie McBoatface is pretty mild for the internet. Does anyone remember Hitler did nothing wrong, Mountain Dew fiasco? What? I don't even know what that is. Google that. I'm Googling that. I didn't like you guys are teaching me about the internet today. That's what um, that's what it, that's what a podcast about nothing should be. It should be a full on lesson in the do, in the internet. Did, oh my god! I didn't hear about this. I didn't know about this. Uh, Mountain Dew. Oh my Mountain. god! When was this? This was this was four years ago. Wow. This is four years ago. Uh, uh, Dub the Dew campaign must have seemed like such a good idea at the time. After all, letting the internet choose a name for a green apple infused soft drink. So what? Oh, so the internet chose, and the the name was hit, or the names they have down there. Hitler did nothing wrong. Diabetes, and gushing Grammy. <laughs> oh my god! Did you see? Ah, you can't pull it up on stream. It's too bad. But the Patriots had an issue with that too, where they had a, a winner uh, for some contest, and they had to put the name on the back of the jersey, and the the name ended up being something ridiculously derogatory. But I guess they had some bot auto tweeting the winner. And th this jersey went out to all the Patriots Twitter followers, and I, it said I hate an ethnic group on it, and it was... Don't use a Twitter bot, but people still do it. <laughs> I'm just leaving it up on the screen. How is this? How does that happen? Can you F10 zoom in a little bit there? I don't know. Or control, control the mouse wheel. Because I can't see it too well. No? So uh, I'm on the wrong thing. There you go. I look at two and three. Uh, gushing granny. <laughs> gushing granny. Fapple. Fapple. Granny squirt. <laughs> Tempest. Gushing granny. Why is there so much granny stuff? Gushing grannies and diabetes and fapulous apple. Oh my god. How did this happen? 
the internet, that's why. Oh my god. <laughs> How does the internet let things happen, dude? I don't know, man. I'm fucking done, Fapple. <laughs> you want to drag someone in? Yeah, let's drag someone in. All right, Rando, you better be ready. Where are we? All right, we got a lot of people here to... Oh, yeah. We got Pat Duffel. Pat Duffel. I'm going to grab him. Hold on. Hey, Pat, what's up, man? You're on the jam. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Pat? How you doing, Pat? Doing pretty well tonight. Awesome, man. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Boston. Right on. Right on, Boston. I went there last year for PAX East. The snow is dirty, Pat. Yeah, the snow is probably the worst thing ever. It is pretty filthy, bro. It's Last year it was nasty too. You guys had that snowstorm. Oh yeah, we got a hundred plus inches. Yeah, where people were doing those awesome videos of them diving out of their bedroom windows into the <laughs> snow. That this was beer is so. Is that it was good beer? stuff. Is, it's malt liquor. It's not beer. It calls it. Technically, a, you violated the rules of the whole high, situation. It calls it a high gravity locker lager. No, it's malt liquor. It anyway. says lager on it. Have you ever had a steel reserve, Pat? I have not. Okay, Pat. Uh, Pat, you got any questions for us, man? Uh, what's your favorite television show? Stereotypical. <sighs> that's a Pat, rough question. That's tough. Um, of all time, ever, or like a specific uh, category? Recently. Okay, favorite, that's like, easier. Dragon past, Ball Z. Like, Dragon Ball Z. That's not past five years. Dragon Ball Z. That's not past five years. Dragon Ball Z. He doesn't watch TV anymore. I've been trying to get him to watch Netflix for at least a year now. I have Netflix. I just never watch Netflix. That's good. Uh, mine yeah. would have to be Breaking Bad for sure. It's definitely the best show I've seen um, recently. I, I couldn't finish Breaking Bad. Why? I got I'm like halfway through season two, and I just like I just can't like Dude, bring myself. I've never to watched go back. Breaking Bad. Dude, get to season three and four. Never watched it. Get there. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Never watched Breaking Bad. No spoilers. I, should. I know I should. I should. I know I should watch it. Game of Thrones would be a close too. Game of Thrones. Though, sunny so for me is is a clear choice. Like recent Sunny's show, great. Sunny's always great. Sunny in Philadelphia is great. Great. What's your right. favorite TV show? Uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. I'm yeah, Game of Thrones would be a close second. Pumped for it to come back. Yeah, I mean it's 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 been losing me the past two seasons, but like the end of last season kind of picked everything back up for me. So I'm, I'm into yeah, I'm it. Exci I'm excited to see how everything turns out. Yeah. I mean, we'll see what happens in what a month. I never watched Game of Thrones. You don't watch anything. I've never watched no. Game. You of don't Thrones. watch TV except Dragon Ball Z before you go to bed. Dragon Ball Z is on Saturday night. I'm on stream on Sunday. It's on at midnight. Sam's asleep. Wait, I have a bowl of cereal. You don't Why even watch it watch? on like DVD. I thought no. you like watched it. Oh no. my god! You I literally watch it on Toonami. Wow. No, because there's something about waiting a week for Dragon Ball Z. It's on on Toonami every Saturday night, and Did I can stay up till twelve thirty. There's something about waiting a week for a show you've seen many, many times. Is it sad? A little bit. Well, no, that's well, do not. They, do they Go play ahead, like Pat. individual episodes? Yeah, one episode. Or, like in order? But or it's is Kai. It just it's a Kai, though. Episode? It's Kai. It's, so the music is garbage. The voices are messed up. But they skip a lot of the filler in Kai. Do you have you ever watched DBZ Kai, Pat? I I have. It's been a it's been a long time since okay. I've watched it. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so they skip a lot of shit. Okay, All right, yeah. Pat. Well, thanks for joining us, man. I hey, hope you have a good night. Hey, it's fun. it was fun being on. It was nice talking to you guys. You too, dude. Yeah, later, Pat. You have a good have one. Have a good night. I could do another question while you Pat won't. It won't drag Pat out of the channel. There you go. There you go. Uh, Josh, the real on Josh on T, who's one of my mods in my channel, said, if you could, would you? What? That's it. If I could, would I? I mean, yeah, I can, so why wouldn't I? Uh, Chariona said, no question, just a fan of the hashtag you chose. Hashtag Mets suck. Everyone. <laughs> nobody Where's likes Where's Wish You Luck right now? He's supposed to tell you that the Mets suck. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a <laughs> us doing a thing on <laughs> Twitch without Wish coming in to tell me the Mets suck. I almost wore my ah! mask. Too. You did it? You're a better man. You finished mine, by the way. No, mine was right here. Nah. Oh, this is mine. Okay, I thought you just finished mine. Oh! I was so happy for a second. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, this... I got a question. What's my favorite thing about Catholic? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about me? That's what it, that's what uh, uh yeah, Timmy question. I like this question. Timmy Settlemore asked. Uh, what is my favorite thing about God? Um I'll go first. My favorite thing about Catholic <laughs> 
Go is ahead. how he's so handsome and so caring and tender. I would I, w- I would say that I, I my favorite thing would be uh, the fact that I've met my match in another grown man who loves Disney as much as I do. It's true. Oh, this one's kind of lukewarm, but it's still really delicious. I bet that lukewarm is better than this. Yeah, it is. Are you? Did you finish that? I'm like got a drop left, but it's. I'm You're gonna finish that steel reserve. You're gonna feel that steel reserve tomorrow, boy. It hurts my soul. Oh my god, it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah. We we <laughs> Kevin and I actually met each other at um at Disney World, and uh, we I, we uh we were both at Epcot, and I put out a tweet, and I was like, "Hey, who wants to fucking do a thing and meet up in Canada at five? And then I guess Kevin's buddy was it Wayne? Uh, Pete, my buddy Pete. Pete. Pete rocks, right? Pete X Jr. Pete rocks. So Pete rocks. <laughs> yeah, my buddy Pete rocks. So Pete rocks. Petey rocks. Good old Petey rocks. Um, he hit up Kevo, and he was like, yo, you should meet King of Valiant at the thing, because why not? And then he did, and then it turned out that I had gone to high school with Kevin's wife uh, back when we were both in high school, because yep. that's when you go to high school. Yep. And um, and the rest is history. And then you guys moved down because Kevin and I were too good of friends to live far away from each That's other. That's exactly why we moved down. It's the main reason they moved down. I said, babe, I cannot be separated from Corey. We need to just... just need to move we back. Need, we have to do a podcast at some point, babe. I mean, <laughs> come on. Can't do a different room podcast. I did for a long time, and it's not nearly as much fun because you can't drink <laughs> Garbo yeah. beer. And, yeah. Here we go. Last. last I really second. wish this was ice cold right now. Really do. Are you putting a fridge in the... Oh, man, the bottom's the worst part. The bottom's the worst part, Kevin. Oh, you should have just done it with the rest of the thing. Oh, that was so gross. Who was more popular in high school? Corey... Do Strupple. Corey or Kevin? Do Strupple. Is, is this... Are we just assuming? Like, are we... Yeah, just do Strupple. All right. Uh, Strupple... I keep going on the wrong keyboard. Uh, Strupple... Strupple.me... And oh, oh that's Starpole. That's Starpole. What's Starpole? Stra- I don't know what Starpole is, dude. Uh, you guys are gonna guess, and then we'll tell you the story. Who was most pops? That's Minost. Most pops. Who was Minost pops? Who's most pops? Uh, Kevin. Uh, oh yeah, Sol- Solverham. I definitely said that last night. Great, Paul. When I told the story of how we met, because everyone asks all the time. Uh, and the straw poll is 716-7405. More people want to know how I met you than how I met my wife. Yeah? Yeah. How did you... I don't actually don't know how you met your wife. Uh, we used to go to church together when we were younger, like 12 and 13. That's fucking boring. Spice it up. Uh, then we became good friends and she moved down here and then we got other significant others and then we broke up with them and then we got together and did a long distance relationship and then she moved to New York and we got married. Yeah? That's pretty much it. It's a good story. <clears throat> That's literally it. That's a good story. It's got zero votes or zero votes. People are, they're probably going to vote you because as we've... The as spite we've, vote? Yeah, the spite vote. As we've noticed, uh, 716 7405. Uh, here's another Twitter qu- 404, question. 404, rip link. What did I do? Strawpole.com. That's not even a thing. <laughs> Kev- Kevin has one vote. <laughs> Someone found it? <laughs> No, it was ripped because I put strawpole.com. Oh, they just did dot me instead. There we go. Yeah. Um, Bacon Taco on Twitter uh, sure. wants to know what our dream pair of socks would be. Mm. Like, define dream socks. All right, that's the question. You have to define it yourself. It's Twitter. I can't really talk back and forth to the person. Hey, Wish, how you doing there, big guy? Good to see you again. He just wants to let you know. Pleasure. Pleasure, as always. Um, my dream pair of socks? I actually would prefer no socks. That would be my dream pair of socks. I don't like wearing socks. What's wrong with socks? I just don't like wearing them. You I, see, I wear I wear sandals most of the time because I'm in Florida. But uh, I, I like going walking around barefoot. Unfortunately, you can't do that everywhere. But uh, Darth Cheddar says, "Could y'all post a picture from your high school days?" Really curious as to how you guys evolved. You know what? I have two on my computer at home. I could send you. Send I could you. I could probably I could probably cook one up on my Facebook real quick. Let me <laughs> let me see if I could find this picture of me. I look like Mitch from uh, Days and Confused. You see Days and Confused? Of course. Okay, I look exactly like Mitch from Dazed and Confused. I've only seen the two yearbooks that my siblings have. So I've did saw, I have long hair in those? I or did, I, did, your, I have the, did I have the Super Saiyan blowout? I have the Super Saiyan one, and then I have your your sophomore, which was I don't think that was Super Saiyan. No, I didn't have a Super Saiyan blowout in my sophomore years. No. 
No, my Super Saiyan blowout was I from... I think that was your senior with my brother-in-law. That's the yearbook I have. Yes. Oh my god, here I am. Here I am. Okay, so my shirt's off in this picture. I'm in a hot tub. <laughs> Holy you, shit, this picture. Can you show that on Twitch? No, I'm pretty sure I can. No nips. How do I download it from Facebook? Um, let me see. No! Let me see. Share. Me picture? It. No. No, that's gonna share it on Facebook. Hold, yeah, press the picture down. Pressing and, the picture down. Yeah, that's because you have a stupid iPhone, that's why. Now how do I fucking, I if mean, I guess my Android, I can I'm just gonna take a screenshot of it and crop it. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm doing it. Do you guys want to see me? Like, Oh, listen, no, they want to see it. I'm just they saying. They want to see it 100%. As opposed to this Android where I could just hold the, the button down on the picture and, and we'd be good. Remember, guys, if you're watching on iTunes, remember you can uh, go to YouTube.com slash King Italian and watch this video if you want to get a reference as to what this fucking picture looks like. Yeah. Um, I'm going to crop out the rest of the kids in this picture, and it's only going to be me and my friend Diane. Yes, Ooh. Wish, we're doing... We're doing Twitter questions, but the hashtag for tonight is mess. Holy suck. shit, I look so mad about it. I can't see. Can I see? Yeah, you'll see it in a second. I want to see. Mad to Gathalian. Are you tweeting it? No, I'm not tweeting it. Oh, I thought you were. I mean, it'll probably get tweeted, but I look so mad. I look like. I look like Mitch from Dazed and Confused, like legitimately. Like super legit. Um, Let's go to this. Here we go. Let's download this shit. You're gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. It won't open. So I'm sitting in a hot tub next to my friend Diane. Who was Diane? I never slept with her. You sure? Yeah, I never okay. slept with her. All right. No, her dad did not like me. That doesn't really stop people from sleeping together. Honestly. Oh, I was I was too deep in the friend zone. Anyways. Oh, isn't that a horror? My, that's what my wife did to me for the longest time. Well, that's a picture of a house. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my house. No, that's not what you want. Oh, ruined. By the way, you won the straw poll. Did I win the straw poll? For yeah, real? 200 to 160. It's still going. I mean, you never know. You can catch up. Yeah, that's a wide gap at this point. Why doesn't it want to send the goddamn? This is stupid. I'm mad about it. Oh, it's sending one of two. There we go. We should get it here in a second. But why did it send the picture of your house? I don't know, dude, uh, because I got a picture of my house. Hogs. Here we go. You've got to be kidding me. Yo, right? You look like, what? That's Dave, you? That's me, dude. You guys ready for this shit? How old is that? That you is. You look like Mitch from Days and Confused. I look like Mitch from Days and Confused. This is, I was, I was. You did a text box, not an image one. Did I do text? Uh, I was like, I think 15, 16 in this picture. Wow. Again, iTunes this is, and Stitcher. This is, get on YouTube um, and see this picture. Mitch, this yeah, is crazy. Right, yeah, absolutely. YouTube.com um, slash King Uh Yeah, this is this is me. Bam. Oh, my God. I know, God. dude. Look at this. Can you make that bigger? I can make it bigger. Yeah, absolutely. Um, people want that to be This bigger. is me. This is me when I was like 16. Wow. I'm in a hot tub. I see it, though. I see it. Yeah. You I see, see it. Yeah, dude. That's me. Like, I am skinny, skinny, skinny. Um, the guy on my right is my buddy Justin, and that's Diane. Diane was a like a ballerina, dude. You sound like really like you're lamenting over the fact that you and Diane never hooked up. We never hooked up. Mm. But th that, does that bother you? It sounds like it bothers you. I mean, no, it doesn't bother me. All right, all right. Yeah, definitely Mitch, for sure. 100% no swim trunks? No, I had swim trunks on. There was parents at that party. Come on. <laughs> there was definitely parents at that party. But it was a hot tub. It was a hot tub, but there was parents at that party. Guardian Outpost says Diane is hot. Diane's 15, Guardian Outpost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I, I, I want to keep going down memory lane with awful pictures of me. I don't think I have any good ones. Let's see. That was That's the only picture I have with long hair. You want another Twitter question while you're looking? My wife is calling me right oh, now. Let's talk soon. Let's take this. All right, what's up? You're on the jam. Oh, hey, babe. What's going on? I it's fucking Wednesday. What's up, Kevin? It, Wednesday. Wednesday. Fucking Wednesday used to be Naked Wednesdays, by the way. I don't know what happened to that. Oh, man, that was so funny. You just sent me emails about Naked Wednesdays. Yeah, I would send her, like, I would send her, like, legitimate, very fancy professional emails, like, reminding her 
about how it was Naked Wednesday and I, I to can, please bring the proper attire. I can leave if you want. No, you'll leave eventually. I, yeah, but absolutely. no, like it was, I was very in depth with Naked Wednesday. Like I took it very seriously. About that in a long time. That's so funny. It's very funny, but I, I, like, I, like, I don't know, babe. That would be hilarious. I would love to see an old Gmail of Naked Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, can you find one of those emails and send it to me? I mean, I could probably, I probably use this email. Uh, Naked Wednesday. It came up. That's that's okay. Google search. Do you publicize them? No, it's not Google search. That's just for my email. Are you sure? No message is found. Yeah, I think I cleared my oh, inbox okay. after Naked Wednesday stopped being a thing. <laughs> Too depressing. Yeah, Naked Wednesday was very important. <laughs> All right, I love you. Is there anything else? You have any questions? No, man. I'm just telling you on my way home. Do you have any questions for the jam? Home, <laughs> All right, cool. See you later, buddy. That is going to get you in so much trouble. Surprise fact, it won't. How? I don't know. There's one thing that pisses my wife off more than anything, and it's hanging up on her. Oh, dude. You know, like... I cannot end this conversation hanging up you on know her. What, you know what my wife hates? She hates it when I, when I go, okay. Kevin, All right. Kevin, are you worried he will re-implement Naked Wednesday while you're over? Uh, yeah... I mean, I might re-implement Naked Wednesday. I'd Could really, be back. I'd re you'd have to switch the show to Hitbox for that to work. Later. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Pro tip on how to talk to your hot wife. <laughs> See you later, buddy. No, that's my babe, dude. She's my best friend, for reals. You want to pull someone else in? Yeah, let's pull someone else in. Let's see who we got. Rando, be ready. Uh, we got Neon last week. Let's get let's get Blood Lord Blood Lord J M. It's not dragging him. It's doing the thing. Oh, there. Yo, Blood Lord, what's up? You're on the jam. But your mic is muted. Uh. Five, four, bye. Sucks, man. You tried so hard. All right, let's grab Gunny. Let's see what Gunny has to say. Guck funny. Hey, what's up, Gunny? You're on the jam. Oh shit. Hello. What's up, Gunny? Gunny, Gunny you sound stoned as fuck, bro. Hello. What's up? You guys hear me, yes? Yeah, yeah we, we can, we can hear, hear you just fine, Gunny. All right, so you guys need a question, right? Sure. Sure. Uh, since we're all guys here, what is your uh, most awkward boner story? You guys have to have one. There's definitely one. I don't know that I have a weird boner story. Oh, I have a great bullshit. one. Bullshit. I'm calling I have a great one. Uh, I, was at the, uh, I was at the doctor. <laughs> And uh, he was, uh, I, I had knee surgery when I was younger, and he was sure. messing with my knee, and I don't know what happened. Why would you get a boner? I don't know. It moved. <laughs> it definitely moved while he was checking out my knee post-surgery. I don't. <laughs> uh, and uh, it moved. That's all I can say. It moved. Gunny, do you have one? Um, I think the most awkward boner I had was... Uh, I was doing a project on uh, the Holocaust in World War II in front of class. This is going to a dark place very quickly. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, it, is. it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, well, you know, just up there getting the presentation and being a 12-year-old, uh, you know, and uh, when there's women in the classroom and they start to develop, start to notice, and uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was awkward. Had to... Uh, you know, do the whole, like, crossing the leg in front of class, kind of... Yeah, 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 you know, I know about the leg you know, cross, for sure, shuffle. for sure. Yeah. That that was awkward for more than, uh, than one reason, so that's mine. Mostly the Holocaust, honestly. Mostly the Holocaust <laughs> in that situation. I... There's one, Corey. Just just get it out there. No, like, I can remember my earliest boner, and it's no, a weird No, that's boner. not what we're looking for right now. I don't have a weird boner story, because I've never... <laughs> a, I've never gotten a, a, a boner that I wasn't supposed to. You've never had a fear boner before? <laughs> never had a fear boner. Really? Never had a fear boner. I've gotten... Gunny, you've had fear boners No, before, my boners right? are very well behaved. They always show up when they're supposed to. Oh, God bless you, because mine doesn't do that. Oh, uh, chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> no man i mean like the earliest weirdest boner i can think of is i was watching the original batman with adam west sure catwoman catwoman yep catwoman. Kid. 
How many people in chat's first boner was to was to uh, was to Catwoman Eartha, on the Adam West Batman? Eartha Kit was her name. I one was, of them. What was her name? Eartha Kit. That was before my time. Eartha, like E A R T H A K I T T. Wrong keyboard. For the eighth time. Eartha Kit. Yeah, there it is. Just get Eartha Kit. That was Catwoman. I believe so. Could I be wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there. See, all the way to the right. Third row. One? Yep. That's right. Man, dude, my boner never discriminated. <laughs> the. F there you go. There you go. I have a very. Uh, my boner is an equal opportunity boner. <laughs> All right, Gunny, you have a fucking good one, man. Uh, you too. <sighs> Later, Gunny. We discovered something. We discovered something tonight, and that's. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit was your first boner? Jessica Rabbit was definitely one of my early boners. Uh, Tombstone wants to know why we started all this. Huh? Tombstone on Twitter, Tombstone Viper wants to know why we started all this. I don't know, something to do, hang out. Yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, Darth Cheddar, um, through tips, says, uh, when is the next movie for Brokeback Mountain starring Corey and Kevin gonna come out? Naked <laughs> Wednesday. Hashtag Naked Wednesday. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain Broke too. <laughs> <laughs> I they can't... just two men <laughs> doing a podcast. <laughs> I can't quit you. <laughs> did you see that movie? No. I didn't see that movie. No, I'm not that not brave. I'm not that brave. <laughs> you want to come over and watch it on the <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to get mega drunk and watch Brokeback Mountain? No. Fine, I don't either. Dude, if my thing moved with a doctor, who knows what it could move if I get mega drunk and watch Brokeback Mountain with you? Hey, Corey, why are you touching my knee? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> felt like the right thing to do at the time. Uh, it just felt like it was right. It felt like the right moment to touch your knee. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> uh, ShadowCon on Twitter. What's up, Shadow? Uh, said, did you guys get into gaming and why do you... Or when did you guys get into gaming and why do you like it? Uh, there was a girl down the street who had a Nintendo. And I would go over to her house and play Nintendo. Also, also a young black girl, so... <laughs> She was my first crush. I was... Why do you keep pointing it out? I was four. What? Continue. I'm not pointing it out. You did. You definitely I drew mean, attention story, to that fact. As far as the story. Go ahead. Go ahead. Her family stopped letting me come over and play Nintendo. Why? I don't know, man. I don't think they liked the fact that I was a young white kid. Oh, okay. You're just telling a story. That's cool. I don't know. That's cool, man. Just tell the story. That's it? That's the story? Played That's how you got into video games? That's how I got into because video Because you games. weren't allowed to go over her house anymore and play? Yeah, and then I had to, then I had to get, then I had to get my own Nintendo. Okay. Uh, I got a Nintendo for Christmas, and I got Mario Brothers, and it was downhill from there. You got Mario Brothers? Yeah. Here now, we, do you intentionally here. call it Mario Brothers, nope. or are you just an asshole? I'm just an asshole. That's how I say it. That's, That's how, how you I've say Mario? It. If you go up to New York, that's how everybody says it. They don't say everybody it. in New York says Mario. Yeah, we don't say Mario. We don't say. So everybody in New York says says. I was hoping Cherry Owens. I, I, I can grab see him. you going to the seas in the in the. I don't. I don't think that's true. Mario. Well, the good New Yorkers. The good New Yorkers. Mario Brothers. Mario. <laughs> Mario. No, I. Nobody fucking. Re, nobody says that shit. People no, are saying no. I say it the way we. No. Yeah. 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 I don't believe you, dude. Get Cherryona on the line. <laughs> Cherryona's not even here. <laughs> uh, what's an upcoming game you two are looking forward to this year from Soyros Regime? Uh, the game already came out, and it's called The Division. Mm. Um, I'm going to play No Man's Sky over the summer. Uh, Battleborn. I'm going to watch you play No Man's Sky, because I don't have the patience to play that game. Oh, man, I'm going to explore so much Sky. Um, Battleborn's coming out. Battleborn looks interesting to me. As a gamer, but it's it's another one of those like. But are um, you a MOBA guy? Because I'm. I love I like MOBAs, but I hate point and click games. So I enjoy Smite. Uh, Overwatch looks really interesting. See, uh, I'm not. I can't get into any of those. Why not? What about I, it? I've desperately. I tried um, Heroes of the Storm. Tried I've tried Smite. I've tried Smite on PC and console, and I just the whole MOBA thing. I just. What is it about MOBAs you don't like? It just the 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 lanes and the the capture point. It just doesn't appeal to me. <sighs> I told you, I'm heavy RPG and sure. sports. That's it. That's all I play. Okay. Heavy RPG and sports. No, that's fair. Again, and, and I said this on, I was on an, uh, uh, Guardian Outpost's uh, streamer spotlight this morning, 
and I said about RPGs, I'm really sad the way MMORPGs are just like taking a huge dump. They're right super now. watered down though. But no one's stepping up to the plate to try and take on Warcraft because so many have failed before. Yeah, but them. you can't. You can't. Somebody could. They I just have to do could. it right. I think I I don't I don't know, man. It would take a lot of money and a franchise that exists already to compete against WoW. I just like and everybody's like WoW is dying, but like WoW's doing fine. WoW in a dead state is better than, than every e other every game combined. Yeah, for real. I mean, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen does good. I can't get into. I tried it. I couldn't. You try to it. get in Final Fantasy yep, fourteen. It, it does. It does well. The one game that people keep telling me, yeah, Black Desert. That's the one game people. Yeah, see, people Black are Desert's it like really crazy. good. I There's keep a, hearing that Black Desert has a non-existent end game. That see that's. That's what I can't stand, is getting to the end and then going, now what? Yeah, like, I just grinded. Like, what's the point? See, we talked about it last week. I don't want to get into it again, but people are saying, like, wow, it's still great. Yeah. I'm sure the game itself is still great, but the, the feeling I had playing it, the feeling Corey had playing it, is gone. Yeah, it's gone. So I can't go back to it and walk into Ogremar and, and get that. No, it's again. never, yeah. It's, yeah, I just... I just I don't I don't think I could recreate that. How do you how do you recreate that feeling in MMO? The closest thing I've had is the community we've been involved in for the past in year. Destiny, yeah. yeah, that's the closest feeling I've mm -hmm. had to it. No, but, same. Uh, honestly, it's just been... mini game ship with no end game. Says Ar Arto Arto Borean. Uh, true enough, but this is an, an MMO RPG. You can't ship an MMO RPG like a true MMO without an end game. You just fucking you can't, dude. You just can't. You cannot. Yeah, it, it's it's the feeling is gone, and and it needs Endgame for it to come back because Endgame is where the camaraderie comes in. Yeah, you can level solo, you can level right. with people, but it's going to have an end. The end game was something you did every week. It was an activity every Tuesday mm -hmm. that you were like Tuesday morning. You wake up, you'd like, damn it, it's raid night. I am ready. I am ready. Let's let's blow through this, and you take two or three days and go through all the raids, but. Well, EverQuest, feel same feels. Did you hear about EverQuest Next getting canceled? Yep, my buddy told me he was an I had, EGQ fan. I had high hopes. I never did. High hopes. I never really? Did. No. You didn't? Oh Sony. My, oh my Sony Online Entertainment. Doesn't is matter. Garbage. Dude, EverQuest, the original EverQuest, hooked me. Um, EverQuest Online Adventures on on uh, on PlayStation Two played the fuck out of it. Never played EverQuest Two, but the first two is what ignited my love for online gaming. Like I, I got a, I got a, what was it, a Voodoo Two? See, someone mentioned ESO in chat. I love the way ESO looks. I love the way ESO feels. I hate using a controller in an MMORPG. It completely bothers me. You don't like using a controller? It's just me. It's me, and I know it's me. I know it's not something that you know is common. Sure. But uh, I can't use a controller in an MMO. I need the keyboard and mouse. The click last... one for spell. Click four for you know. That's just what I'm. What my brain is used to, I guess. The last, the last MMO I got into was uh, was DC Universe Online. Did you try it? I tried it on both console and PC, and just oh my god, dude! I played that clicked. shit on PlayStation Three, and I loved that game. I loved it. Like I, I got that feel again. Um, the like I did from the uh, feels important. The uh, feel is very important because it, it ties in with the game. And again, yeah. we we said it before that playing Destiny and even the Division now, it's kind of like similar but it's still not completely what it what yeah. it was when yeah for sure you know again tuesday tuesday morning you wake up or you'd go to you'd wake up five hours after you were grinding all your stuff from the night before just trying to get everything in before reset oh it's raid night yes but uh, i don't know man i don't think i don't think anybody's ever gonna gonna out wow wow do you like that by the way yeah yeah it's sweet it's it's good after dinner yeah it's definitely not something like i would drink or if i was sitting by a pool or something yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely it's a good beer. What is it? Is this the? It's from. Uh, it's, it's it's this is the J Dubs. J Dubs. Uh, Passion Brewing, wheat. Sarasota. Passion wheat. Bam! Look at that. Passion wheat. It, it, it's like it's it's fucking summer in a in a can. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a great description. Excellent description. If you guys are interested in it. Um, but yeah, as far as as MMOs go, it's just. I feel like we're going to complain about WoW not being what it was every single week. On every show. week. Every week. But it's not about that. It's like, I just want something else to be it. Um, I've tried other MMOs, and I just I just can't. 
Have you ever tried any like the quasi MMOs? Did you ever get into like uh, like a Ragnarok online, Did you, like the Korean top-down anime type things? Nah, that's not my style. I tried so many of those, dude. I anything? What, Did you like click with any of them? Uh, I loved Ragnarok online. I thought it was excellent. Um, the other ones, not really. Uh, I tried a I tried a a private server sort of like MMO linked to the past called Grawl. Interesting. Yeah, that I, I tried that like it was probably a decade ago. I don't know if Grawl still exists. Let's find out. I always felt like uh, um, Zelda universe could be a good MMO, but then I don't know. I feel like sometimes those just get ruined when you try and convert them into an MMO. I'm still waiting, and if 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 someone hears this somewhere far away, if someone could make me a legit real Lord of the Rings Online was good, but if you could make me a Middle Earth legit awesome MMO I would play and stream that until the day I die because it would have the lore that I want. Is this it? Um, wow, there's so many different versions of it now. Um, it looks like there's like a steampunk version. Yeah, let me see if I can't find some images of Grawl. Yeah, this is what Grawl was. Oh, wow, it really is exactly what you described. Yeah, it's a link to the past. Like, this is this is the shit that I... Mm, why is it such a small image? It's a resolution of the image. That's a resolution thing. I mean, this was this was Grawl. Like, it's a little you would, bit bigger. Yeah, you would fucking... That's a big one. You could... Yeah, yeah. So, like... But the world was player-made as well. Sure. You know? So, like, you could you could add to the to the overworld and shit in Grawl and play with buddies and shit. It was, it was really fucking neat, dude. Um... I don't know. I, Peach, I, Peach is I, mad about it right now. I don't I know. I hear she, her yelling downstairs. This is. Gonna I mean, be I could, I could get into this, but the longevity of it wouldn't be too, too oh, long for me. Absolutely not. There this was, would just be fun to screw around. There was a look. There's like a mobster one over to the right. <laughs> yeah, Grawl Online era. I don't know. Grawl was Grawl was interesting, dude. I used to play that on like my bullshit garbage PC that my parents had. See, and I'm watching chat and people. Tell, well, if you want a coder MMO, honestly, go play Star Wars The Old Republic. It's actually a really great MMO. I just don't have the time to play it right now. Uh, and it's not worth me streaming. You know, I'd rather stream The Division or or Destiny or, or MLB or NHL. But Sure. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic, if you're looking, especially the new expansion, uh, they definitely brought it back to the old coder feeling. So if you're looking for that experience, go go try that out. It's a great game. Uh, but yeah, Lord of the Rings. People see people are saying it, and people want it. But Warner Brothers now, who owns the IP, is just not stepped up to the plate. And if anyone what, could, could the Old Republic, or? no, no, I'm talking about Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Warner Brothers owns Lord of the Rings. Like they could, they could potentially make a game. Yes, you're not going to beat WoW. Yeah, but how do you, how do you scrap how do you scrap the Lord of the Rings online? You go back to the first or second age. You don't do it in the current age. You make it older. Exactly what the Old Republic did. They went back 3,000 years before the movies. So what, like Silmarillion? Yeah, well, even somewhere in that Silmarillion time frame or afterwards, but not, you don't go to the current age, because the, the game now is the current age, and all that you do is like follow... Like, define the, current, though, is it like... It's the, it's the, it's the movies, Sauron? the movies and books. So you follow... The, there's a main quest line, and they build everything around it, which I think kind of forces them to do stupid shit, and you just kind of follow the ring through Middle-earth. So now they're in Gondor. So we've gone from, uh, we started in like Okay, great. so we have, they haven't taken down, so, so it's going to be like a Sauron raid eventually or something? I'm assuming that's what it's going to end up. But like we went to, um, oh crap, I can't that's, remember the That's name. uninteresting to me. We, you fight the Watcher in the, uh, in the, what's it called? The Dwarf City. Oh my gosh, this is bothering me and I know so much about Lord of the Rings. Cause of Doom. You fight the, the, the Watcher in the movies, the okay. tentacle sure, thing. Sure, 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 you sure. go in. You don't fight the Belrog from the movie, but you do a raid against the Belrog that happens to be there. It's just like they, they force things like that, and from lore-wise, it's like, this is kind of stupid. Okay, so they're like, you're like you're part of it, but you're not really part of it type situation? Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I'm, un I'm, I'm uninterested in that. That doesn't really do anything for me. If you did second age or first age, and you did something completely out of the box, you, A, your playground would be bigger to play in, so you could have more ideas and be more original, because the ideas were never fleshed out by Tolkien himself, so you could have some fun. And, and C, you're dealing with a whole time frame that just isn't, isn't even completely written out, so you could go nuts. But with the way they're doing it now, they're forcing so much like dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work for me. But they did do a whole thing, um, and they actually tied it back in the Hobbit movies, sure. where you went to um, Dol Guldir. So did you play through all this, or? 
Uh, I haven't you played recently. I pl the last time I played Lord of the Rings online was... I watch videos to keep up just, with the stories yeah. and just make sure, you know, I know what's going on. Yeah, I just... Uh, a Fable prequel MMO? I would play the fuck out of that, where the Heroes Guild is all like... Fable was good. I yeah, but that, that whole company is gone. Do you think that IP is going to get eaten up by somebody? Yeah, somebody will grab that. And try I mean, and that's what everybody it. said about Amalur. Did you play Amalur? No, you keep telling me to play ah, I'm going to pull it up. Uh, no, I've seen Amalur. Is, I've seen Amalur. Um, says, I just want to want to say I'm encouraged by you doing the jam. It's a huge risk and not at all what you built your channel on. I'm amazed by what you do every day. P.S. It's pronounced Bagginses. I read that last and then I pronounced it correctly. I would agree that, and I, I said this actually yesterday after you raided me and I was thanking you. Don't know if you're still there. But uh, I said this whole thing is a huge risk and I appreciate you taking the risk with me. This uh, this is this is Amalur. Yeah, like I've seen Amalur and you've told me about it in detail. Um, I'm like it's, it's such a beautiful game. And for whatever reason, it's taking forever to load this image. I'm thinking if my stream like, grows, I'll be able to play a game like this. Because I tried playing The Witcher on stream, and that was a dud. So I don't, I don't want to play Amalur so bad. Why don't you do an Amalur day once a week when things kind of die down? <laughs> when things die down. Amalur well, you got Division. You got April Update for Destiny. You got a lot of stuff going on. Amalur was such an amazing game. Like dude, I'm telling you, do an Amalur day. Do it on a Saturday. I got it on PC right now. Dude. It's, it's such a beautiful game. What's... Is it... Now... Is it just a... How many hours? Like... 60? 60 minimum. Okay. Copernicus. And that, is that just running through the story? Uh, how do you spell Copernicus? C-A-P... C-A-P... Kingdoms, e kingdoms, hold on, uh, the kingdoms, kingdoms of Amalur Copernicus, I think, I don't know. Um, there was supposed to be, um, shown results for kingdoms of Amalur Copernicus. This is the one that got canceled? This is the one that got canceled. Copernicus was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a, uh, a massive MMO. Like, yeah. It, they they were supposed to take what they were doing with Amalur and just build this. You this know who owned the studio, right? You know what happened? Yeah, I know what happened. Kurt Schilling, who was yeah, a Kurt for Schilling the fucked Red it Sox. up. Yeah, they borrowed a bunch of money from uh, Rhode Island. Yep, that's where and he was from. and now Rhode Island. Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning main story is about thirty hours. Thirty hours, okay, main story. If you just go to the main story, but you don't, it's a great game. Someone said forty two without counting DLCs. The DLCs were great. Um, there were so many really interesting builds. In the game, uh, I'd totally try a game. I love this game. Like I, I would talk about this game all day to people. It's so why don't you do a, a Saturday playthrough in a few months and just do it like every Saturday for a few for you know eight hours and bang it out in five six weeks? It doesn't make sense right now. I said in a few months. Wouldn't make sense. In a few months, maybe three months. What a fun game though. Five dude. months. What a fucking fun game this. Four was, months. Though. I liked Neverwinter. I just. It never, it never went off. Neverwinter was just not Wizard One Hundred and One. That was so weird. What's wrong with Neverwinter? Yeah, I just didn't Neverwinter, dude. I just didn't. I tried oh, it out a little bit. See, just... Star Wars thirteen thirteen. What a great thing to bring up, Baggins. Says that hurt my soul when I saw the screenshots and they were like, "Sorry, it's canceled." I was like, "No, don't cancel this. This is beautiful." Wow, can't even play games you want to play. I mean, like I play games on my off days. There's games that I would really love to stream, but I mean, like. It's it's hard, dude. You know, it's really hard. You, you guys got to remember with streaming, it's especially for Corey more so than me. It's a it's a career. It's a job. It's my yeah. I mean, it's, so, it's my livelihood. Yeah, so it's important for him to play games that are or do but, things and activities that are good. That's that's not saying that I don't love what I do on a regular basis. It's just that you know, like I can't always play what I would always like. If I if I like woke up and I was like, man, I want to play Power Stone today, like it probably wouldn't go as well. Um, I play Hearthstone all the time offline. I don't feel like me streaming Hearthstone would be a very interesting thing at all. Amalur is That's a combination me. of WoW, Fable, and Skyrim. Accurate. Yes. That is a very accurate That's a, statement. It is a very accurate statement. I could see it just by looking at the pictures in the video game play I've seen. Yeah, it's, Absolutely. it's crazy. It's such a fun game. Did you play through Skyrim? Uh, I did play through Skyrim. Yep. Skyrim was, was is great. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Sure. Top 10. Yes. Uh, I never played the DLC, though. I, only I just think the combat the was doo-doo. Well, that's Elder Scrolls. It's always due to combat. Sure. But the story and everything else around it completely... <laughs> you don't even know. Is it free-to-play? Uh, Amalur? I think Amalur is like... 
10 20 bucks 20 I 30 bucks on I think steam it's, maybe yeah it's it's less than that i just it's, get it on steam it's, yeah, it's always it's, gonna be it's cheaper. less than that on steam i don't know dude it's it's very cheap on steam I, but, I think I got it when it was like $7. So I'm looking at chat, and I see people saying the same thing, and, and I've heard it for years. It's like, I want this IP MMO. But when the MMO hits for that IP, it always fails. I mean, we have Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, sure. which are two of the biggest IPs, not in gaming, but in, in nerd culture. And they're both failing. Not failing, they're sustainable. But It's because you can't, you can't live up to Big Brother, which is wow. Right, but somebody's got to... Like, that's what I'm saying. A juggernaut like Warner Brothers has to come along... Put the millions and millions and millions of dollars into it. That's gonna make it stand up to WoW and launch it with Endgame, and that's it, that's the thing. I'm telling you, dude. If that ha if Lord of the Rings, I know you like Lord of the Rings. If Lord of happen. the Rings launched a game and it had flawless Endgame, flawless Endgame. It had like it launched with three, four raids, plenty of dailies. Like you knew you were gonna be busy for a week straight, even if you stream 50 to 60 hours. Would you play it? I don't think it would happen. I don't mm. think it would happen, dude. So many companies have sunk so much money. Like, so much money. What about Eve? Eve is a different beast. Okay, Eve is different. Eve, Eve has its own... I have no interest ...economy, in ecosystem, yeah. everything, and that's good. Eve is a little too hardcore for me. Like, real shit. Too hardcore. Have you watched some of the stuff that takes place? In yeah, here? dude. Like, people lose thousands of dollars because their spaceship got blown up. Yeah. No, thank you. Crazy. I like living in a house with a family and a wife. I like keeping those things. <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry I lost like 10 gram on a spaceship tonight. Whoops. Good night. You're like, that's not. You want to take a five minute break? Yeah, we'll take a five minute break. Cool. All right, guys, we're going to get up and take a five minute break. Uh, I'm going to hit a few minutes of ads. Be right back. We'll continue this conversation or a completely different one. Thank Probably you for watching the jam. Completely different one. Probably a completely different one. Sorry for my breathing. It's very weird to do this solo. We could try and do this solo, I don't care. God, I have a ton of questions. There's a ton of people in the waiting room. You see me? The turbo people see me, for sure. 
Have I finished Witcher 3? No, I was doing it on stream and nobody was watching, so I stopped. Uh, but a few of my viewers are pissed off and they keep telling me to continue it. So maybe when Division dies down a little bit. But MLB comes out next week and I'm going to be hitting that, so. Thanks, dude! It's a pretty sweet case, ain't it? This is sexy. There's a game in it, though. Oh, is this the Pokemon game I'm playing? Yeah. This is, uh, Alpha Sapphire. Okay. Alpha Sapphire. I will play it, and I will not play anything off stream except the Division and Pokemon. You need to make that 100% Pokemon off stream all the time. I can't not play the Division off stream. It's impossible. <laughs> I, play, I play it on Sundays when I'm off, but that's because I... Well, I, I have to get some stuff. You know what? You know what? If you guys could give me two weeks with Pokemon, I'm going to New York for four days next week. I will play the crap out of it in New York. Um, I will... Uh, I'm gonna barely be streaming because I'm. It's gonna be ghetto stream if I do. But I mean, you do that. Oh, you won't be streaming in New York. That sucks. I'm gonna stream, but it'll be ghetto, and it won't be for too long. Like define define ghetto stream. Uh, no green screen. Um, uh, crappy mic because I gotta use my brother's gaming headset. Mm hmm So I'll get the job done and be online, but it won't be my professional ass setup that I have right now. Did is... you ever finish Witcher Three? No, someone just asked me that, and I said, no, mm -hmm. I have not finished Witcher 3. Mm. I had a really good ending. Um, I'm, I'm going to pick it up again. My, uh, I, was, I was straight up in love with my ending from Witcher 3. I want to... I wanna, I'm dealing with Division now. Division's Bay. Baseball comes out next week, so I'm going to have a few weeks, and then I'll probably get back into The Witcher in probably a month or two. I'm not a huge baseball fan, man. I know. I'm at a game. I know. I know. That's why we don't talk about it, except when... Wish tells me how much the Mets suck. <laughs> uh, Twitter question. Hamburglar wants to know, Kevin and Goth, do you have any pre odd pre-stream rituals, something you do before you can start your stream? Um, it involves buffalo sauce and beer. That's all you need to know. Really? No, I want to know the rest of that. You're involved. Your buffalo shrimp and your... Oh, we... We go and eat and have beers? I wanted to make it weird. That was weird for a second, but then it became just made sense to me. <laughs> It's because you're in Tampa. Listen, the Rays have been they have been on the cusp of great several times. I watched, I watched the Rays because my wife lived here, and I watched the Rays too. Mm -hmm. But no, it's some people don't like baseball. That's cool. I just I just don't baseball. If you I like baseball, just... come watch me play. That's cool. <laughs> I don't care. It sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh McKenna. Oh no, that's a retweet. Uh, Sharud, question: If you had to get rid of one body part, what would it be? Like one body part? I'd get rid of one ear. One ear? Really? An ear? I got the other ear. I'd, I'd get rid of a like a pinky before an ear. Nah, I'd get rid of one ear. Really? Yeah, then I have my whole hand. A toe. Pinky toe. I could do a pinky toe. Is a toe a body part, though? Yeah, of course. Yeah, a toe. A pinky toe. It's For sure. It doesn't, doesn't affect you aesthetically. Not a big toe, because that fucks up how you walk. Yeah, a toe. Pinky toe. Picky toe. Picky toe. I bet it would hurt like a motherfucker, though. I would assume it would. Uh, you want to drag someone in? You want to drag someone in? Uh, we got good is for luck. We're gonna grab good is for luck. Let's I'm going to the lightning game on on Friday with Professor Broman, but this guy can't go. I can't go. I can't go. We can't get kids sitting. We can't get puppy sitting. Kids sitting, most importantly. Bring I'm, them all. I don't want to bring the kids. <laughs> the, I don't like. I'm not gonna drag them in right now. I don't want to bring the kids to the hockey game because I want to get fucking blastoed. You understand me? It's a hockey game. I the last time, the last time I went to a hockey game, I had box seats and I performed in between the second and third. At the lightning game. At a lightning game, walked out into the middle of the ice and beatboxed. I'm going to. Uh, I have a luxury box to uh, the Yankee spring training game on Monday. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited about that. All right, grabbing good is for luck. Yo, what's up, good? How you doing, man? Welcome to the jam. Yo, what's going on, man? What's up? What's going on, dude? Where are you from? I am from the United Kingdom. The United oh, Kingdom? Why the fuck sweet. are you asleep? What is it, like 2 a.m. over there? 2.30? It is 22 minutes past 1 in the morning. Jeez Louise, God, man, that's go not to, that late. Gotta go to bed. What are you waiting up for? Dragon Ball? Staying up for uh, Dragon Ball? Oh, man, I wish. I wish they showed it, like, that much over here. <laughs> you don't get a lot of no, Dragon Ball no. over there? No. You know what would be cool? If they, like, redid Dragon Ball Z, but with, like, British actors? Isn't that usually... Well, not with anime, but the standard in, in 
professional acting now is that everyone has a British accent. Really? Think about it. Hilarious. Any anything that's like supposed to be ethnic is just replaced with a British accent. Think about oh, it. Every okay. movie you've seen, think about it. I. Yeah. Oh, okay. He knows what I'm talking about. I'm not yeah. sure I agree with you. Well, name another instance. Was, I think. It, I think it was suit characters like Cell anyway, because he seemed kind of like a bit of a dick. And well, Cell really Cell was was anyway. handsome Jack though. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Why is handsome Character. Jack not British? Why is that not a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Like, handsome, handsome Jack should just be British. That's but I like I like the guy who voices Hampson Jack. What well, oh, he's, he's on? Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he was Cell and handsome Jack. Back. I don't know who else. Right. Jason Statham. Jason Statham is in everything. Um, oh, you got any session. questions for us? Good. good. What's going on, man? You've been a, you've been a long time uh, viewer of the channel. Appreciate it, by the way. Yeah, that's not a problem. I'm a massive fan. I'm gonna start watching uh, Kevin because I I like him on this on the channel. Thank you. I but appreciate as that. For a question, no problem. Um, as for a question, any like a really random question? Any like nope. particular snack that you like to have during streaming? You first. I like to get uh. There's a snack I get. It's like a, it's like a little tube of uh, mozzarella wrapped in in pepperoni. Yes. Yeah. Delicious. Like the little fingers. Yep. It's, it's like Delicious. equal parts greasy and fatty. And you get them from it, Whole Foods. Um, get it from Whole Foods or Publix. Yep. Yeah. Either one. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. I like I like greasy foods while I'm streaming because it like it lubricates the vocal cords. I think or spicy um, food, really spicy food. Um, yeah, I could do. I, do I highly food. avoid. Awesome. I highly avoid eating while I'm streaming. So mine would just be literally beer or water. That's all really? I really do. Yeah. Why I, do you avoid eating? Unless I have to, like if I'm doing a long stream, then I'll eat a meal. But I, I avoid snacking. I just, I don't like chewing into the microphone. And I know people say, oh, just mute it. But it's like I'm eating. You don't have to. Like don't just don't chew like a fucking animal. But I want to enjoy the food, and oh, that well, makes you me chew like an animal. Wait, why? Why do you do that? Like, that's not how the world works, Kevin. Well, that's how I work, so... You can deal with it. I'm fucking learning to chew. <laughs> Alright, good as for luck. Thank you for the call, man. Streaming uh, 101. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, dude. Appreciate yeah. you. Nice. You gonna learn <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Thank you. Later, good. <laughs> nice talking to you guys. See ya. Ciao! He fucking fades away. No! I love Dor Look at Dork Knight. K-Magic ate on stream this week. I ate dinner on stream because I did a... Uh, a uh, streamed during dinner time and my wife made me dinner, that's why. That's really nice of her. She is the best. Does she cook well? My wife, yeah. Well? Yeah, she cooks yeah. very well. We both we both cook, we both take turns. Um, and uh, I gotta make you lasagna sometime. You have to make me lasagna and I want to taste this homely buffalo sauce you keep telling me about. The one that's made with bacon? And, and I have to make you the caprese turkey burgers that I keep telling you Fuck. about. So much stuff. We should just have a potluck dinner. When I move, when I move, we'll have actually dinner if I ever move. Um. <laughs> oh man, no, I want to do. I want to do. Uh, maybe I'll do that this Sunday. I mean, maybe that'll be really therapeutic for me because I love cooking. We have, and... we have no plans Sunday, and we're talking about maybe, 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 maybe. Should I say it again? Maybe doing the Destiny Community Con Info Blast Sunday. Do I need to say maybe again? Dude, we could have so much lasagna. We're in pain <laughs> and drink Peronis all day. You could teach me how to eat on stream. <laughs> And then we'll just be like, oh, <laughs> welcome to the Destiny Community Con Blast. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to shit for a week. Did, uh, I give him, did I give him the 3DS? I gave him the 3DS. I got it right here. I gave him a sweet case, too. Oh, it's in the case already. I Look at it. it. Give me this. I want, a, I want it in my cam. Pimp Look at it. that shit. Pimp it. Pimp Look it. at that Pimp fucking it. case. That's a cool-ass case. That's friendship. Oh, you want to do a cooking stream one day? I think that would be great. Since my buddy Chef Wayneface won't do it, I think we should do it. Dude, one time, one time I made because uh, I used to I used to be part of a church group. Um, when you too. guys like me too, it's cool. It's like kind of like a social thing, really. I'm not like a religious person, but like that's another stream. Um, as far as church group, it's mainly for music. Um, anyways, it it came to point where they basically did the, like they did like a home church thing. Sure. And there'd be like there'd be like fifty people there. Yep. At the home church, um, and it came to word that I was really good at cooking. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I was like, "Yo, I make really good lasagna," and then I make lasagna for fifty people. That you, sucks. It was fucking awful. That Holy shit. Sucks. Fucking fifty people lasagna. No. What? 
No. I don't know if I have. I I gotta have a picture of that somewhere, dude. I, I it was. I oh. get mad when I have to cook for more than six people. That drives me nuts. Oh can my you, god, Kevin! Can you drag Neon in before chat riots? Neon? What is what is Neon? Like? I don't know. He wants to yell at me for something. Something okay, I said. Cool, as well. got Neon. Thanks. I tossed him in the channel below us. Whoops. <laughs> He's lost forever. There we go. What go is it, Neon? What go is ahead. it? Oh shit. Okay, perfect. All right, Goth. Yeah. Goth. So, you know how I basically exist to call you out on your bullshit, right? When you yeah. contradict yourself. Sure. What's up? I'm All glad right. This isn't about me. It is about you, Kevin. You sit down, shut the fuck up, and listen. Oh. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Neon. Neon okay. getting real. Ooh. Okay. Last week, you were you guys were talking about Harry Potter. Yeah. And you were you were like, ah. I don't want to have to sit through all the fucking movies to get the good ones. Uh, yeah. But then Pat was in here, and he was like, oh, I didn't get through Breaking Bad. And you're like, dude, get through the first two seasons. Get to three and four. It's so good. I'm Kevin. I like the first two seasons. Three and four is where it gets extremely intense. I like the first two seasons. Not everyone's going to like what I like, but three and four get very intense. The fuck does this have to do with anything, Neon? This isn't about you liking it. It's about how you fucking totally contradicted yourself, and I'm calling you out That's on it. That's not a total contradiction. You talking to me? Yeah, Kevin. Kevin. Saying, <laughs> saying, Neon. Oh, okay, Neon, cool. I'll Neon, see Neon, Neon. Saying the movies are bad, but you need to get through them to get to the good stuff is different than me going, they're good seasons, but three and four get absolutely insane. Yo, I don't think There's a difference said... there. <laughs> No one said that the first Harry Potter movies are bad. Yes, yeah, I've no. had friends say that they're bad. I no. have had friends no, say that's why you, I haven't no, dived in. No, Neon's right! Go Neon's ahead. 100% right! I'm with I will Neon. shut up. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, because you were saying, yeah, you were saying get through this and then it gets good. Harry Potter. I Harry didn't say good. I did not say good. I said. You said get to the second. It yeah. gets crazy, I believe. We'll have to go to the VOD to really confirm this, but it gets crazy. No, you said you have to get to. You have to get to. Okay, I did not. And Neon, you thank you for did. correcting me. You I did not. Did. I did not mean it that way. Season, so I'm watching. I'm here. literally in the process of. I'm up to season two with my wife. I'm rewatching them as of this week, so I know they are good. <laughs> Getting to season three and four is where it gets ridiculously intense, and then five uh, is extremely uncomfortable. It's so good. So yes, yes. But no, people have said, Harry Potter 1 and 2 suck, but 3 and 4 are amazing. I don't want to watch two movies that suck to get to two movies that are good. I got plenty suck. of other movies. That's they not what I've heard. All. I'm not saying, hey, I'm not saying they suck. I'm saying you, this is what has been told are you to me. you kidding me, Kevin? You literally just said they suck. I said this is what people have told me. How could I say <laughs> that movies suck that I haven't seen? Hey, Neon, thank you for your call, man. Welcome to the jam. Yeah, thanks, man. I like him. Neon Neon is a he's a pot stirrer, dude. He needs to be a regular. <laughs> he stirs the pot. I, he has no chill and I need that in my life. Thank you, Neon. <laughs> Thank you. Ne Thank Neon you. has no fucking Thank you. You put no me to 11 chill. right now. Yeah. I was on 10 and you put me at 11 and I appreciate that greatly. Cool. I'm like you good? You yeah, going to Twitter with this next one? Yeah, I'll go to Twitter. Remember the hashtag to get us get at us is Mets suck. Mets suck and the jam. Uh, Captain Twaz, if you could have only one meal for every meal you have for the rest of your life, what would that be? Pizza. I was going to say pizza. Yep. You know why? Because pizza, you can change toppings, and it's still pizza. It's still pizza for dinner. I can't consult on this question, uh, but it's direct. Oh, no, because I said it tagged me. Uh, the Angry Scotsman said, who would win in a fight, Gamb Gandalf or Dumbledore? I can't consult on that. That's all you. I'll say Gandalf. I'll say Gandalf for sure. I, I would say Gandalf 100%. Gandalf's that badass. Really, that really makes me not want to see Harry Potter now. Why? What's wrong with Gandalf? Because Gandalf. Gandalf's the man! And if I'm going to see a lesser wizard, that just really just puts me off. Oh, no. It's Gandalf 100%. We're going to put that up on straw poll, actually. Okay. That's a good straw poll. Yeah. That's a good straw poll right there. Uh, str that's the wrong keyboard. <laughs> I think that's number I think that's seven. A, I think that's the title tonight. That's the wrong keyboard. I, I like it. That's the that's title of the episode, one. guys. Wrong keyboard. Wizard fight. Gandalf. D 
Dumbledore. Does it have an E in it? Sure, let's put an E in it. Oh. I think that's how you spell it, yeah. I think that's it. Um, Strapple. Just click it. They, they no, can... because it's a different computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Strapple.me. So much confusion. 7 one, <laughs> Gandalf, seven, Dumbledore, or Yoda? 7-7. Seven, seven, <laughs> Yoda. Five. I don't know. Yoda, Yoda versus Gandalf would probably be... Gray or white? Gray, Gandalf the gray or Gandalf the white? Which one? That's a good question. White, because that's his final form. That's his final form. Like, how much more powerful is he as the white? Did you ever see that meme that said when Gandalf told everyone to leave and then came back with all the top-level gear? You've never seen that one? What? It's a picture of Gandalf the White, and it says, that time Gandalf told everyone to leave the raid group and then came back with all that top-level gear. What, when he killed the Balrog? No, when he, yeah, when he leaves as the Gandalf the Grey, and he goes, yeah. fly, you fools. And then he comes back as Gandalf the White, but he's in all the new white robes <laughs> with the new staff and everything. Like, hey, guys, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to get him out of the Boba. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he, what's that guy's name? Sebulba? No, not Sebulba, but the, the fucking fly guy. Which fly guy? The guy who used to own Anakin. No, um, um, um. <sighs> Chat's gonna let us know before yeah, anybody yeah, lets us Yeah, it's know. not even worth me looking up, honestly. Yoda would shit on everybody? No way, dude! No way! We don't, I don't think we know enough about Yoda to honestly, yeah, there it is. Thank you, whoever linked that. Remember that time Gandalf convinced the whole party to flee so that he could take out the Balrog and not have to share any of the XP? Shows up the next session with fancy new robes and everything. Well, what a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. That's the one. Watto! It's Watto! Thank you, chat. I told you chat would fucking know who Watto Dad, is. Someone said Dad. Dad <laughs> <laughs> it was Dado, right? I bet it was Dado. It wasn't Dado, guys. Just uh, so we're clear. S. Uh, Smidley on Twitter said, if you could make the next sequel to your favorite game, what would you do? The what? The next se like, if you could make a sequel to your favorite game, what would it be? That would, That's a better way of phrasing it. I favorite game? Yeah. The Division 2. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like that's, that's buying the cow when you're going to get the milk for free. I'm joking. You know, like, th that game's going to get a sequel regardless. Destiny's going to get a full sequel regardless. Whatever MMO would make me happy would be my answer to that question. Really? Uh, whether it's do you want to see? Do you think they'll ever make a World of Warcraft two? I think eventually they will, but it's going to take time, and and they're going to need. You don't think money it's already in point. development? No, no, no. I don't think really? So. I think they put all their their eggs in the uh, what was it? Project Titan basket, and Overwatch it failed, so Overwatch was just a way to make money off of what was left over, um, and. I don't think Warcraft. I think Warcraft. Uh, yeah, Warcraft Four is in is more in development than a World of Warcraft Two. Absolutely. Really? Yep. I'm absolutely. not sure. I agree, I agree with you. I'm not sure. I agree with you. Chat seems to agree with me. I don't know. Uh, Gandalf is kicking the shit. Time out of splitters. Dumbledore. I want to see a new time splitters game. Oh, so good. So I good. would. I would fucking. I would punch an old man for for a new time splitters game. For you guys, I would punch an old man. Time Splitters, Time Splitters 2 was such a fucking incredible game, and I loved every second of it. I need a new Time Splitters, like, period, just done. <laughs> fucking done, man. Uh, BSCDL08 on Twitter said, who would get drunk first, you or Gathalia? Me. Next question. <laughs> uh, if you, Guardian Outpost, if you could only ride one Disney ride for the rest of your life, which one would it be? You go first, Corey, because I want to see if it's the same what? one. One Disney ride for the rest of your life. I want to see if it's the same one as me. One Disney ride the rest of my life. Why are you saying pirates? You know I'm going to say pirates, but here's the issue. I was trying to say it and hoping you wouldn't see me, but then I forgot that OBS is over there and you here's, can see here's me the clear issue. Today. Here's the issue with pirates, Kevin, because you have to think about this. Go ahead. If you're going to ride a ride, you have to get off the ride... You have to go through a gift shop. You have to pass any sort of food. Sure. You got to get back on the ride. Pirates ain't got shit around it. Pirates ain't got shit. Meanwhile, three caballeros got a taco stand. They didn't say you get off the ride. Oh, they just, said just you ride, ride, the ride the ride for the rest of your life. Oh, well. Oh, so I just stay on the ride and... and mm. 
My ride would be drinking around the world. Drinking around the world. The best. Ride I don't know, man. Disney. I think I think any ride over and over again would. I, it wouldn't be a roller coaster. But you, it's basically your eternal torment. You have to pick what's going to drive you. It's the your least eternal crazy. torment. Yeah. So. Hmm. I don't know, man. That's tough. That's a tough. That's a tough fucking question. Yo, yo, go, yo, yo, go, yo, go, yo, go, go. Living on the land. Because you can sleep on that motherfucker. Uh, Living on the land. And remember, I just discovered that ride mm -hmm. the last time we went. Living on the land, dude. It's relaxing. Oh, you wait, 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 wait. Lerms McKenzie. The Viking ride is gone. The Maelstrom is no more. Maelstrom's gone. They got rid of it to put Frozen in there. <laughs> I hate to be the one to inform you, because my heart was destroyed when that happened. Yo, that shit had sexy Jesus on it. Oh, that ride had sexy Jesus on it. That hurts even The say. Maelstrom? Yep, yeah, there it is. No. Yeah, it's yeah, gone. Yeah, Maelstrom's gone, dude. Yeah, because Frozen, that's why. Yeah, Frozen. Frozen. We'll look excited about frozen, that Frozen, right frozen, now. frozen. You ever, you ever eat at the Ockinger house? Uh, once a very long time ago. Garbage. Yeah. Like, even, listen, when I'm telling It's me, not a sit down restaurant, so like, my wife's not going to go there. Yo, um, <laughs> yeah, really? She's. Oh, I love not that. at Disney. No way. Um, don't, don't scramble to get reservations at Cinderella's table. They changed it. The food's garbage now. I've never tried. I the feel food like it's is, too hard. Just don't. We were driving up on a Saturday, and Sam was like, I'm just going to call. We had we had reservations at like Citricos or whatever, which mm -hmm. is dope. I've never been yet because we canceled because she called that morning. And they're like, we got a reservation, 11 p.m. And she was like, 11 p.m. She was like, yay! And I was like, no. yay! 11 p.m. dinner. Food at 11 p.m. Anyways, no. they used to have prime rib. No longer have prime rib. They used to have some sort of alcohol. No more alcohol. They have we, no alcohol. No alcohol. The only alcohol Done. in Magic Kingdom is at Be Our Guest at dinner. Should be at the Liberty Tavern too. But. They don't though. Have you had that meat platter at Liberty Tavern? Though? Delicious, but it's it would go so great good. with a with a Yingling. Oh it my down. God! He should totally have Yingling with that. Just saying. Yeah. If you're listening, Disney. Disney, Disney, please. <laughs> anyway, continue about your love. Please tell me three th thirty thousand leagues under the seas is there. I Dude, hate... where that ride used to be does not exist. It's gone. Completely. It is, it's the new fantasy land. The dwarves minecart is there, which is a good ride. A fun ride. It's a fun ride. It's I a good enjoy ride. it greatly. I like it. I miss Mickey's Toontown too. The Toontown Fair? Yeah, for the little kids. The crap yeah, they have there is garbage. Yeah, because you could go in the garbage. house. And yeah, like, and the yeah. big tent and do all the yeah. character meetings. But they moved Dumbo from Fantasyland over to the Toontown. My son now just sits there and he goes, train, train, train. Because yeah. they have the, yeah, the, the, train the train from Dumbo. Yeah, it's yeah and then it's like stupid. it spits out water. Just you know there's some stupid. other... Yo, yo, yo. What? That camel in Adventureland. You the Aladdin like one? Yeah. Yeah. That spits. Do you feel like someone's controlling that thing with the camera? Um... Could be, Walk by it, man. Could be paused. Yeah, Walk yeah. Walk by it. I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker knows where you are. I've been spit on by that camel like You sure three it's not times. just a motion detector? It's Disney. No, They'd rather no. pay a machine than a no, human. No, I think day. I think there is an actual man with a camera who is who is paid to spit on you with that camel. I'm convinced. Okay. It's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm certain that's the situation. It could just be, you know, as we I've said previously, Skynet will be some Disney will somehow be involved in the beginning of Skynet. No, it's some bullshit, Kevin. I'm telling you, it could be some robot that they've programmed to just know when when people are walking by and hit the button itself. It might not be an actual human being cuz Disney Skynet is going to happen. It's going to happen. Disney Skynet. It's nah, that's some bullshit. No. I love Disney World Disney so much. Disney will somehow usher in the apocalypse. Babe, I want to go Disney Swingin. <laughs> I'm going to tell her that I want to go Disney this weekend. Do you think she knows? Oh, you didn't tell her when you told me that you were... No. So I, I found I, out before Sam that you wanted to go to Disney? No, like, she knows that I want to go to Disney World this weekend. Like, I want to go to the Polynesian, and I want to have dinner, and I want a Spirit of Aloha show. If you don't go this weekend, wait a weekend, and I'll go with you the following weekend. Like, next weekend? No. If you don't go this weekend, wait a, a well, week, I'll be pull, in New York. I have, to, I have to pull up a calendar for this. So, like, if I don't go... I'm this in New York the first, the second. I'm in New I come back the fourth. So, you if you don't go this weekend, go the eighth, and I'll go with you. The eighth? 
the yeah, 8th. That weekend, whatever time that weekend. That's when Ben's going to be there. No, Ben's going to be there next weekend, the 1st. You sure? Yeah, that's when his... his... Ben's going to be there next weekend. I want to go to Disney World. Because because um, when Amy asked me, I said no. We'll be in Disney. We'll be. I'll be in New York. With have you ever have you ever done the Spirit of Aloha show? No, you keep telling me about it, and I want to go. Uh, Twitter question: Fuck Mary Kill, Oprah, Martha Stewart, Barbara Walters. Go. Fuck Mary Kill was Oprah, Barbara, Barbara. No, I'm sorry, Martha Stewart, Barbara Walters. Oprah. Um. Oops. Fuck Martha Stewart. No, no. No, no. Mary Oprah. No, kill, no, kill no. Kill Barbara Walters. Fuck Martha Stewart. Kill. Uh, fuck Oprah. Marry Martha Stewart because that's just a lifetime of awesome stuff happening there. Um, wait, 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 wait. Kill uh, Barbara uh, Walters. Prenup Oprah, Oprah or no prenup? That's. I can't. It's Twitter. You got to come up with that. Yo, yourself. this is the food that you get at the Spirit of Aloha show. Is that Hawaiian bread on the left? And then they fucking bring you this. What animal is that? That is all the animals, what? Kevin. No, no, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. This one? What animal is that? This it's... right here is chicken. That's not a chicken. That's chicken. That's a chicken? That's chicken. And you get vegetables, rice, sticky ribs. I want that in my mouth. All right. Oh my god. This is This is what you get at Spirit of Aloha. And then these motherfuckers play ukuleles and shit, dude. And you can sit like right there and see the stage. It's can crazy. You, can you, can you go the eighth? And I'll convince Danielle to go if she's not in chat. And yeah, we could probably again. do that. Spirit of Aloha is dope, dude. And then these girls dress like dancing little grass skirts and shit. And then there's fire dancers at the end. I want that in my life. Yeah, there's What fire. is that dessert? Are those little volcanoes? These are little volcanoes, bro. What are they made of? I don't fucking remember. Are you, Delicious. Ham are you gone by that point? I'm gone. Yo, it's all you can drink. Yinglings and Bud Lights. I, I mean, would just drink Yinglings. Yingling I wouldn't the whole time. The Bud Lights. And, then, and then for the ladies, it's all you can drink, like uh, white wine, red wine, or uh, sangria. Dear God. It's like, dude, I'm wasted by the end of the Spirit of Loha. I'm fucking done. Like, and then, then they're like, okay, it's a break. And then you go out to the fucking the beach and you watch the fireworks at the Magic Kingdom. I want that in my life. That's what you need to do. Spirit of Aloha is some shit, well, guys. Well, if, if you wait, I'll try and convince Danielle to go. Okay. We'll talk or about it. Or I'll just go both weekends. I don't know. <laughs> it's like three weeks away. It's cool. I'll be ready by then. It's cool. Look, everyone, everyone, chat's coming with us. Everybody in chat is coming We're going to rent out the Spirit of Aloha. <laughs> That's the new Destiny Community God after party in Spirit of Aloha. We could make that happen. Yeah. Um... Gearhead SS on Twitter says, "Favorite movie that you're embarrassed to admit that you like?" Frozen. I don't know. I like Frozen. It's a good movie. Olaf I, is hysterical. I think I think Frozen is a good movie, but I'm not embarrassed to admit that. I don't know a movie I am embarrassed to admit that I like. I feel like I, I don't think I have a immediate answer on There's that. There's got to be one that you're like. I'm not someone who embarrasses easily, Kevin. Okay. I see a tweet from Wish You Luck. Is he asking how much the Mets suck? Uh, he said, hey, Twitter question here. How much fuck the Mets does it take the fu to fuck the Mets? You want to take, take a jab of that one? How much fuck does it take? No, 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 no. It says, Twitter question here. How much fuck the Mets does it take to fuck the Mets? How much fuck the Mets does it take to fuck the Mets? Uh, Sir Kaze asks, why is the best cheap beer... Oh, what is the best cheap beer, and why is it Yingling? I mean, that's good. That's, yeah, like, I mean, that's like, the answer. <laughs> that's the answer. Like, Yingling's a cheap beer. Yo, it's yo, good. don't be embarrassed to like The Notebook. The Notebook is a great movie. Great movie. Do not be embarrassed to like The Notebook. You want to bird drag someone in? Sure. Get ready. Yo. Oh, it's Shadowhack. I know that guy. Yo, Shadowhack, you're on the jam. What's up, man? Not much. How are you guys doing tonight? Fuck What's it. up, Shadow? It's going Yo, good, man. Kev, how's it going? Good, man. How are you? Kev, y'all are on like single. I, me and Shadow go way yeah, back. We're OG. Fucking, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know we knew each other like that. That's crazy. OG. That's gonna happen sometimes. How you doing, man? Where it's you not from? all about Where you, from, Shadow. It's not all about you. Yo, I'm from Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. He's coming to Destiny Community, Con. Are you coming to Destiny Community? I am. I found that out a few weeks ago. I was like, yo, I've got enough money to go to college and go to Destiny Communicon. I'm quite excited about that. Dude, did you get an exotic shirt? I did not. That's okay. Don't You'll worry have about another it. chance. Don't worry about soon. it. They're going to have another chance. You guys are going to know the date real soon. It's an obvious date, but it's 
<laughs> wow, why did you do that? Why do you, why do you make my job so hard? <laughs> because he's Cory. There's no other answer besides that. Oh, you dun, don't dun, even dun, know that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How does that make your job harder? I'm the one who has to monitor it and turn it off. <laughs> Do you know how many questions I get on a daily basis of when are the exotic shirts going back on sale? I'm assuming it's about at least 3 million. Between DMs and, and tweets, it's probably in the hundreds at this point. We're only doing 100 of the exotic shirt. Anyways, uh, any questions for the for the jam, Shadowhack? Don't talk. Um, <laughs> are you opposed to accepting challengers uh, for beatboxing challenges at DCC? No, man. You gonna challenge me? I feel I like know. that's an that's an after party activity, in my opinion. I don't know necessarily if I will challenge you, but I would easily. He can challenge you. He's beatboxed on stream. I've heard him. <sighs> yeah, I called you out. I did that. I leave that there. Shadow hack. Yo, I'm gonna fuck you up in that Z-Con, bro! <laughs> it's on! <laughs> For the that shit was live! The war has begun! Yo, can we get karaoke at that Z-Con after party? Can we please? I'll do it. I was a vocal man. What's the deal? Let's What's the deal? I haven't heard shit. I'm working on it. Work on it harder, Kevin. I'm busy. I was a vocal major cause. I'll kill anyone I'm for... Karaoke, let's do it. Wow, wow. Yeah, <laughs> we could get, very aggressive. We could easily get karaoke at Destiny Community Con. That's, that's an easy fix. That's yeah. literally me going, by the way, I'm bringing a PA in the day before. Cool. All right, man. Well, you have a good one. I'm going to fuck you up at Destiny Con. I look forward to it. <laughs> later, <bro. laughs> Thank you so much yeah, for Yo, watching, later, man. Shadow. See you, Drag dude. You. Drag someone else in. Drag someone else yeah, in? Yeah, another call. Uh, let's another grab call. I'm 26 in. Uh, I like that name. Yo, I'm 26 in. What's up, man? You're on the jam, bro. You lose. What? Goodbye. Oh, there he is. Yo! What's up, dude? How you doing? What's going on? Where are you from, 26 and? How you doing? Dude, I'm from Kansas City. Kansas City. You guys got good barbecue out there. I'm yes, mad you jelly. Do. Here in Tampa, all dude, we got I've is got, like I've Jewish folks trying to emulate good bro. food. <laughs> I got to mute the stream. Yeah, mute that stream, bro. Mute that stream. <laughs> Dude, I heard that beatbox battle. I want to get on. Yo, yeah, man. I wanted to cut that guy open and then fight him. Like, that's how beatboxers work. Like, we hear someone else beatbox, and I'm like, I want to battle him and take his that's powers. Right. Like, we're, like we're all Highlanders. I was going to say, you're like Highlanders. You can literally... Yes. So you kill each other and take your yes. beatbox powers. Yes, dude. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is about beatbox culture and other beatboxers, but all we want to do when we see that there's another beatboxer is battle it's them time. If you defeat them. If you get me hammered it's enough at the after party, I'll beatbox. I will Let's take your powers, bro. I have no powers. So I only got beatbox. good because I, I cut off other beatboxers' heads and took their power, <laughs> powers. Yeah. It's was like there like was there like lightning in the whole? Yeah, night? that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got Dude. any questions for us, Twenty Six and What's up, man? I got a ten second battle for you if you want to go. Oh. No, <laughs> stop it, stop it, man. That's the last guy's shtick. You need your own shtick. What? I was just about to nah, you a dollar to ask you to battle when you let me into the system, and I was like, what? So. <laughs> 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 Shit's real. It's destiny. It's definitely. It's not fake, man. I tell you that much. Pokemon uh, battles. He wanted to Pokemon battle me. <laughs> I'll, I'll give I'll give you five seconds and then I'll let you guys go. But you gotta give me some back if I'm gonna beatbox. Give you five seconds and Corey's gonna drag you out whenever he feels it's time to drag you out. <laughs> so okay. go. You better hope. <laughs> Yo, good job, man. Yo, 26 and thank you, man. I, I hey. wasn't aware that so many aspiring beatboxers watch the channel. Did you really I, think you were the only one? Yeah. I love the show, guys. All right, are you coming to SE Con? Because I have to kill you and take your powers as well. Uh, I'm in. I can't. You'll have to track me down. All right, cool, man. I'll kill you in another life. You have That'll, a good one, bro. Thank you for watching. Too. Peace, guys. You're the man. You know it. Thank you very much. That'll be the second movie. <laughs> That's the second movie. I know. Where are they all cut? coming out of the woodwork, guys? <sighs> Dude, you guys are awesome. Let's pull up another Twitter question. Uh, from Pat to Phil, what kind of fruit best describes your wives? That's really... I'm going to go with a pomegranate. I don't know why they taste good.
Don't copy me. Come with me. <laughs> I took the easy way out. What kind of fruit best describes your wives? That's a weird fucking question. I nailed Pomegranates it. Pomegranates don't... Pomegranates are delicious. They're tart. They're delicious. They're tart. Delicious. D they're tart. Delicious. <laughs> you're, you're so mad right now. That's Hold on, uh... This is a passion fruit <laughs> and mango wheat ale because there's so much passion. <laughs> Nailed it! Nailed it! <laughs> I just got uh, Gunny's tweet about boner stories. <laughs> Could you have Naked Wednesday on the podcast? That's no, man. No, you can't have your shirt off on stream uh, anymore. If Lord you're Revan, uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Star Wars. Are you kidding me? Wars. What's your favorite? You have you ever watched Star Trek? Uh, I have. What's your favorite? What's your favorite series? Next Generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I'm an unpopular. Opinion. Next Generation for me though is based on grow, uh, watching up growing up uh, growing up watching, watching up it. growing it watching up growing it guys growing up watching it. Uh, that's the only. It's more of a, a sentimental thing than anything. Mine is Voyager. Every I've heard most purists say that Voyager is awful. I really like Voyager. Did you grow up watching it, or did no. you watch up growing it, or anything? No, I didn't grow up watching it. I mean, Next Generation's great, Deep Space Nine is great, but I really like, I like the story of Voyager. I like the idea of them being stranded and super fucked. Why do you hate Patrick Stewart so much? It's not that I hate Patrick Stewart, and it's not that I like Janeway. I fucking hate Janeway. Do you hate good acting? Is that your problem? I hate Janeway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and seven of nine was super fine, bro. Okay, you know seven of nine. Five, gonna, of, five of seven. No, we're gonna pull up seven of nine real quick. Seven of nine. That's the wrong keyboard. <laughs> Number nine. Seven I think? Seven of nine. Okay. But it wasn't even that. Like Jerry Ryan was some hot shit, dude. Like for real. Like look at her. I remember her. You know? It's like, was she wearing a bra at all in this series? Seven of nine? You know? Look at this shit when she was all Is like... the Borg version of her? Yeah, when she had turd brain going on. I don't want to see cosplay. Um, No, dude, it was... It was... I don't know what it's about Voyager. I really liked Voyager. I don't want to see cosplay. I don't want to see not Jerry Ryan being Jerry Ryan. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Voyager is my favorite one. I liked I liked that storyline, and they had a lot of opportunities to get home, and then they didn't, like, fucking, they didn't deviate. They were like, yo, no, man, we got to stay the course. We're going to cheat this shit. And then they finally got home, and then, like, the doctor was a hologram, and then fucking Asian dude was, like, whatever. I don't know. And then Chakotay was banging the Borg chick. And Janeway was just like, I don't know. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Homie Henry on Twitter wants to know, no knees or no elbows? Like, like if, rough. if I had to have no knees or no elbow, elbows? That's rough. No elbow. Or no knees. No knees. No knees? Yeah, no knees. You want to play video games like this? That's true. No knees. Like this? Yep, 100%. No knees. No knees. Nailed I mean, he it. can stand up and fuck. I mean, if you're if you're flat on a bed too. Yeah, yeah, you know? you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no knees, knees, no knees, hundred percent, hundred percent on that. Yeah. Uh, people are asking on Twitter about Bungie stuff. Just, just uh, pop into our streams. We'll talk about it in, in yeah. stream. Yeah, yes, yeah, podcast. This, this is stuff. hardly the time or the place. Yeah. <laughs> That's fuck. not nothing, guys. Fuck. Uh, who would win in a fight, Captain America or Batman? Are you really asking me that Captain question? Captain America, Batman. Really. Yes, Captain America. Okay, Batman can beat Superman. So what's your justification? Can he actually beat Superman? Yeah, it's called a little gr green rock that yeah, he keeps he in his has utility a little green belt. Rock. I guarantee you. Yeah, but there's no. There's I no, guarantee no. you that's how this movie ends that we haven't seen yet. There's no little green rock for Captain America. Yeah, it's called finding a way to beat his ass, which you Batman know, will do. Ass. No way. He is so strong. No, fucking Captain America, absolutely. Straw pull. Straw pull. We're going to the straw poll with it, guys. Chat, what's the answer to 
Who wins in a fight between Batman and question mark? It's always Batman. No, Thank it's you. No, not. Batman is just a rich kid who has toys. Guess what? He's still rich in this scenario, so he wins. Yeah, but if Batman was frozen for years, someone would steal his money, and he'd be a bitch when he woke up. No, his money would collect interest because you don't think he would have thought of someone oh, stealing you, his you, money and had a ton of offshore accounts that have been collecting interest? I don't think interest. so, dude. No. Okay. No. Okay, whatever. in a world where What do you think is Lucius Fox is doing while he's managing all his assets while he's frozen? <laughs> someone typed the wrong keyboard. I got it, dude. He did it, it right that time. He did it right that time. I got it. I got it. It's, uh, what is this? 716-7964. That's not even a thing. 7964. 716-7964. Oh, wait. That's 4964. 716-7964. There you think. go. My vote is Captain America. Captain America is super strong. He has a fucking shield that can... That could he could he could hit a battle ring. You away. don't think Batman's already thought of what that shield was made of and had to shatter it into a million pieces? Yeah, I don't please. think he has that technology. Please. They're Cap, in different please. universes. Cap, please. Cap, please. No, Captain America would listen. And their I, universes have bled over before. And I guess don't what? Even, Batman always wins. I don't even like Captain America. I know you don't. You like, just don't like Batman. No, it's like, Batman's fine, dude. I don't like, even want to sit next to you when we see this movie, because you're going to be rooting for Superman and Wonder Woman the whole time. Oh, I'm this is cool. Look at how close this is. Oh, my God. It's very close. This <laughs> wow. No, no, like, for real, Captain America is so much stronger than Batman. Like, as soon as... Strength doesn't matter. Batman, Batman, Batman has a contingency plan to take down the whole Justice League if they get out of hand. Uh, the whole Justice League. Not one, not two, the whole Justice League. Doesn't you know how many times Batman has bailed out the Justice League from them getting in trouble? Doesn't matter. Many times. Doesn't matter. It's because he's rich. It's because he's rich. Chat, you know what? Like, which so, universe are we fighting in? Because if we're fighting so in the Marvel universe, then Batman has no money because there ain't no motherfucking Gotham City in America, bitch. He lives in a made-up city. Based on New York. It's not a real city. I don't have chill when I'm talking about Batman. No. He lives in a fake city, in a fake nation, which is apparently the United States. I wasn't aware. I am blown away. But you toss Batman inside of actual America? He ain't got no money. He ain't got no fucking... He ain't got no Batmobile. He ain't got no bad shit. Oh! Oh, moving target. Yes, a bullet killed Captain America. A bullet. A bullet. The same thing that could kill Batman killed Captain America. Thank you. I totally forgot about that. Damn, this vote is really close. He was distracted by a hot chick, I'm sure, because Cap gets that puss. Batman doesn't care because he's too be busy beating the hell out of people. Listen, I guarantee Captain America got more puss than Batman ever did. No, no. Because Batman's too sad at home about... How his low, only low. friend low, is an low. old man too and a young soon. boy. Too soon. No, it's not too soon. It's been long enough. It's Batman. Li it's literally. Why don't you get out and nail some of those girls at Gotham City? Literally. Instead of five votes. Sit, <laughs> instead of sitting at home being sad about it. Meanwhile, Captain can make it happen. You know. Was this before or after he got killed by the bullet? I'm not sure which, <laughs> what what. Which time? I mean, either way, it doesn't Which matter. Time? Are we talking about dead Captain America that's dead? <laughs> I mean, if we're going to take that argument, how many times has Batman died? Twice, I think. But he always comes back. Because <laughs> he's Batman. Because he's Batman. How many of those Batmans is a Robin stepping in for him? Batman, and by the way, Batman has to pretend that he gets Yo, I didn't, all the time. Does, does Cap, all the time. Does Captain America have a side, sidekick? Yeah, Bucky. Nah, oh, man, that ain't no sidekick. That's just his buddy. Bucky! Bucking shit. And I hope he loses the Civil War now. <laughs> Me too. I like <laughs> Iron Man way better. <laughs> He's got Spider-Man on his side. Hopefully Blade shows up at some point. You think Blade will show up? No, absolutely not. The only person that might show up is Deadpool. That's it. You think so? Maybe. Maybe. And it would be a cameo. It wouldn't be a thing. There's literally five votes separating this, and I find that amazing. You will refer, you will refer to him as the Batman from now on. The Batman. <laughs> Team Cap. I think I think I think Captain America would would win in a fight against Batman.
I disagree, but that's what brought us here before. But chat is completely divided on this, I think it's fair to say. Batman's still winning. I mean, we can go down there. Batman's right. winning by seven votes. It's 49% versus 51% for Batman. Isn't that amazing, though? Apparently, some of you guys don't understand how science works. Or how a bullet going through someone's heart works. How come every single one of these shows comes around to me and complain <laughs> about how Batman's a rich guy? And I always prove to you that Batman could beat said character that okay you're talking let's say about. okay what if batman didn't have his money guys that's not the scenario here's what you gotta understand Corey. Nope. batman does have his money no don't make a new straw poll don't <laughs> you dare don't you We're dare get a new straw poll guys whatever he makes vote against it <laughs> bruce this is the wayne the screw vote guys versus the screw vote. cap in america who wins, man? Bruce Wayne versus Captain America. You guys get to decide. It's 716-8000. Hate vote. Hate vote. Strawpole.me slash... Thank you, Gunny. 716-8000. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne? How is Bruce... There we go. Okay, that's more like it. You gotta spam that link. You only put it in once. Did I? Yeah. Quick, before it goes away. You're gonna lose it. Guys, this is so much fun. Thanks for letting us do this. <laughs> there you go. Go nuts, chat. It's still even. <laughs> it's still even. Somehow, Bruce Wayne, no bat suit. Can I, no Batmobile. Because there's only one person no, that changed no. their mind in this scenario. The only... <laughs> The only Cap is winning this time, though. The only thing that I believe is happening here is that people are so blinded by their love for Batman's gadgets that they refuse to believe Ga that... Wait, wait, wait. Did you just sit there and reduce Batman to his gadgets? He is his gadgets. Really? Yes. He's not a detective. No. He's not a martial arts expert. He got a suit. He's not a problem solver. He's none of those You would have things. problems if you didn't get in him. You know how many times Batman hasn't had his suit and still figured out how to finish the finish the job? Do you, do you know how many times? He had Alfred. You haven't read enough Batman comics. That's the problem here. I think you have too much faith it's in Alfred. It's literally 50-50. Oh, no. It's good. This is insane. We're never going to get the answer. <laughs> I don't even like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> He's a brilliant strategist. This is this is a fist fight. This, this is, is a, crazy. It's a fist fight. Deadpool versus Spider-Man? Deadpool. Spider-Man. Deadpool. Deadpool can kill. He doesn't care. It's true. He will leave anyone dead. I love Spider-Man, though. I really love Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man, too, but Deadpool will kill Spider-Man. He'd have to hit Spider-Man, but he could kill him. And we're not going to do a straw poll on that. It's 50-50. I, I just say we call it a night <laughs> and say that everyone... Oh, man. Gunny Gunny is triggered. You see Gunny? He's writing horrible stuff about Captain America in chat. Captain America is a freaking test tube, baby. He ain't even American. <laughs> That's some bullshit. No, you talk about not American... <laughs> Let's talk about Bruce Wayne, who lives in a made-up city in a not-real America. Modeled after New York. That is some motherfucking communism. Uh, Shadow, I saw your tweet. I've never played D&D, &D, but I would like to. So if someone wants to invite me to their D&D &D stream, I would love to do that. I've never gotten the opportunity to, and I would love to. This is going to be 50-50, so just, I think it's time to lay it to rest and just walk away. Fine. Okay. So, no resolution. No resolution. <laughs> We'll fight about Batman and whomever Corey decides to put against Batman no, next can, week. You can put like on the jam. You could put Batman versus Turbo Jesus, and Batman still wins. Ja Batman would still win. He'd be like, "Well, fucking." Thank you for that tweet, Gearhead. That triggered everyone, and <laughs> it's been twice. He'd, he'd throw like Star of David orangs at him, and um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Gotham is modeled after Chicago. It's, a, it's supposed to be a hybrid of Chicago and New York. It, the layout is supposed to be uh, like Chicago and the uh, scene and some of the buildings is supposed to be like New York. It's supposed fictional to be a hybrid hero, of both. Fictional city. Yeah, that's cool. Because Cap's, you know, real. At least he lives in America. Uh, Superman America said, did you forget about Dre? No, I never would. Just checking. Uh, 
Uh, bu- 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 Destiny Con Cruise. All right, I'm gonna talk about this for a second because this is what we're talking about. I have a buddy who books cruises, and I've I've thought about doing some sort of Twitch or, or you know some sort of cruise like that. And I presented the idea of going on a cruise with Corey, and he said no, and he blamed it on his wife again. I would go on a cruise. In a second. I don't believe you. Drinking water. I get to look at water whenever I'm eating. You know how much I love to eat and look at water. That's true. And and yeah, you could you could definitely do that on a cruise. Yeah. Um, Sam does not want to go on a vacation where she can't leave at will. Do you think Danielle could convince Sam? No. You'd think there's no Actually, way Actually, no. I think I think my, my wife is very susceptible to peer pressure of her female <laughs> friends who are who are married to my friends. I told you guys, my wife is a social pizza eater. She does not never, never look at me. She fucking, she never, she never wants pizza if I want pizza. Ever. She never, ever wants pizza when I want pizza. But if we're hanging out with Kevin and Danielle, and Danielle's like, I don't know, I can eat pizza. Then my wife would be like, I fucking love pizza. Yo, the cleanse. Oh, Speaking the of pizza. pizza, the cleanse is over. Cleanse is over? We are free. Done. We can take the wives out this weekend. Sweet. Love it. And the kitties. All right, I'll skip Disney this weekend. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. You we got to see We gotta see Batman vs. Superman anyway, Ben. We got to. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to refer Superman the whole time, even though I hate Superman. Uh, does not blow on Twitter said, how many Mets does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? One. <laughs> Try one. They're just normal. Oh, I totally forgot, Swolverham. Thank you. So you went to Charlie's on Sunday without me. How was it? <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> It was so delicious. Can you I, show them the picture? You I think I, I think I have the picture of the steak. You uh, have it on your computer? You steak. bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I do. So, Charlie's, I believe you told me on the jam. Yeah, there it is. You told me on the jam last week about how great this place was. And then Sunday, you waited till I was streaming. No, no, You waited till no, I was streaming. It was not when you were streaming. Why don't you tell the truth, He Kevin? waited till I got online to ask me if I wanted to go no, to dinner. No, you weren't even online yet. Kevin. To go eat that. And Kevin. It was, it was what, cooked in front of you at 1,300 degrees? No, there is there is an oven in the middle of the restaurant. Sure. Um, Brick oven or just a regular oven? I want everyone to experience the ambiance that you experience. Um, it's a it's a wood fired oven. Okay, thirteen hundred degrees, and they sear it, Kevin. And uh, there's there's meat in front of my face. It's totally covered. <laughs> face. That's what that's a said. dick joke. Um, iTunes people just go over to YouTube and check this out. It's it looks delicious. So we go to Charlie's, or well, I was I I hadn't even no. I'm gonna pause the music. I had not even asked my wife yet to go to Charlie's. Okay, I hadn't even I hadn't even approached Sam about Charlie's. Where's this beer? This is beer. Um, I hadn't even approached Sam yet about Charlie's, and I hit you up at like four twelve, four twelve, which is approximately fifty minutes before you went live. Okay. And I said, Yo, what are you and Danielle for doing doing for dinner? I think we're gonna go to South Tampa. Which is like. A lunar eclipse, because you never go to South Tampa. Which is my wife's fault, as we... Ex- we, we <laughs> Once again, about. there's the bus, and there fault. goes Sam under the bus. I don't even care. It's not even false. Um, How many days a week do you have steak? I don't know, maybe one or two days a week? I don't have steak a lot. But no, in, in all honesty, I was supposed to start at 4.15, and then my wife asked me if she could work out. So I put my phone down, and I had the baby on my lap. And then the second she took him off my lap, I hit start streaming. So I never looked at my phone. So that is the honest guy. I'm truth. glued to my phone. You've he seen did. It. Yes, I know. He did. He did text me before I went live, but I was doing other stuff, and then I didn't yeah. see it till like seven o'clock. Yeah. And so I was, I, and, I was I and, mad because that's the picture I saw yo, Tucker while G, I'm streaming. Tucker G says, "Yo, Charlie's was easily the best meal of my life. I had no idea steak could taste so fucking good." Well, we're gonna have to do that. We'll do it. We'll do okay. it. I would. I would go back. I would go back to to Charlie's this week. Um, they have. Have you ever had a? Have you ever had a? Um, what is it? Uh, fucking what's the beef called? I've had too many beers. Kobe. No. Uh. Wagyu. You have. Oh, had, wagyu. Yeah. You've had wagyu. Yeah, it's delicious. They have a wagyu uh, a ribeye, and it's like the way that they cook it. The whole steak tastes like bacon. Bacon steak. No. 
There's bacon steak. You're kidding me. It's bacon steak, There's Kevin. There's no way a whole steak tastes like bacon. It's bacon steak. It's bacon steak, Kevin. Oh, dear Lord. It's so good. It's bacon steak. I want that in my mouth. So good. All right, we're going to have to go to Charlie's. I so need, good. I need to experience that in my life. I invited you. I invited you, and then I sent you pictures later because of I it. was busy with. Babby I knew you were busy, and so I, I like listen. As a friend, there's two things you want to do with your friends: a, experience all your awesome stuff there's together. Three. There's three. There's three things. Disney is number two. Oh, Disney is number two. Number Disney. three. But that's awesome stuff. And then if you can't experience the awesome stuff with your friends, you want to rub that shit in their face like crazy. I agree with that. Yeah, if, that's. If I went to Charlie's without you, I'd probably do the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to make sure I do that while you're streaming one day this week. When I'm eating New York pizza or something along those lines. I can't eat New York pizza. I'm not eating pizza. Yeah, but I can still shove it in your face. Bacon steak loves you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, dude. Like, Charlie's is legit. And they have, like, they have like lobster mac and cheese. crazy. How late are we going tonight? I don't know. I think, I think that's... I don't know. We've been done the t the two hours, but it's up to you. We can go longer if you want. Okay. All right. Finish up drag this conversation color? about steaks. You want to drag someone in? Huh? You want to drag someone in? I'll drag someone in. Who's been chosen? Yo, A Dub, you're on the jam. What's up, man? What's going on, guys? Hey! hey what's up, A-Dub? Hey, what's going on, dude? Not a fucking thing. What's the best steak you've ever had, A-Dub? Best steak, Manny's in Minneapolis. Never had it. Why oh. was it the best steak? What kind of cut was it? Let's start with that. It was a ribeye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, nicely aged. Nice yes. and nice coloring. It was fucking delicious. Mm. Love it. Good answers, man. I'm hungry. A, a, a nice marbled uh, ribeye is just, that's like, that's flavor town. Yep. You know, for sure, like you're gonna you're gonna feel fat as fuck after you eat that shit. But absolutely, you're gonna yeah. pay for it. For There's a, couple a difference days. between fat and full. I think though, that's a full feeling. Fat is like I ate too much. Full is like that was a great meal. No, like I've had a steak so good I felt it in my cheeks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My issue when I go out to dinner is, um, I love I love doing appetizer drinks. Salad. See, I'm not an appetizer guy. You are. I just want the meal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always. Maybe I need to start skipping appetizers. There's just so many good appetizers out there. That's what I was gonna say. I don't think you can because the you love the buffalo shrimp or whatever mm -hmm. they put out first. Yeah. Like when we go to when we go to Charlie's, we get uh we get tartar steak tartar. Oh, yeah. so good. So oh, good. Oh, so good, dude. Do they do they do any like demi or anything on it? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, so good. It's so good. More. Do you got any questions for us, Adam? No, I just wanted to stop by and say, uh, love the stream. Uh, Kevin, you're growing on me, man. I didn't know much about you, so. Thanks, Adam. Uh, yeah, for sure. But, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. You All too, right. man. Thanks you for too, stopping man. by. Thanks for stopping by, uh, dude. See ya. Someone else? What a nice guy. I uh, like him. Let's grab Jet Blast. Jet Blast. That sounds like a fun name. Yo, Jet Blast, you're on the jam. What's up, man? Jet Blast. You are gone. All right, let's grab one more. Be ready. Hey, Jelly Beans, you're on the jam. What's up? I know her. So, two things. <laughs> two things. <laughs> this girl has it ready. What's up, Jelly Beans? First I thing, I would, I would dog stay and babysit for you for free. If you ever for wanted free. to go somewhere. For free. I drive free. out there and everything. Right? That's crazy. She doesn't live that far away. I come home, she's like streaming. She's like, hey. <laughs> no, I would <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I would not be streaming. I'd be a proper babysitter that does arts and crafts and does like cool like little kid stuff that's kid appropriate. Okay. You got to talk to my wife about this. I would hire you in a second, Jelly Beans. Okay. But so you're really hiring. My, it's wife, free. my wife is crazy. <laughs> She's like, okay, it's fine. Okay. I'm CPR certified, so if they choke or anything like that, I got it. You're good. That's, that's, that's... Why, why are my kids choking, Jelly Beans? <laughs> what are you feeding them? Okay. Entire, entire ribeyes? Second, second thing. So I've told you before, my mother works for Disney. So sure. to answer your question about the camel, it is not a motion sensor, it's a person? 
Um, it is a person either inside the camel or at a remote location. Inside the camel? Like one in the two. hump hitting the button? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I fucking knew it! That camel motherfucker, I knew it! I just wanted There's, to tell you! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's literally someone's job like, Hey, what do you do for a living? People. No, so, no! I hit a button at the Magic Kingdom that spits water on people. We need to address this. There is someone at Disney whose job is okay. to spit on people with a camel. That's awesome. <laughs> that happened. Get fucked, God! How is- I I'm knew just, it! I'm just letting you know, like, it's- there's- my, my mother has confirmed it's not a motion sensor. So it's one of the two. No, it has to be a human. If it's yeah, I mean, it's, it's either a person in the camel, which doesn't make sense to me, or a person remotely. No, no, there's, there's no algorithm. I've sat there and watched it for, for minutes, and, and probably, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes before. There's no algorithm. It only goes off when people walk by, I, so it's definitely a person. I can also tell you that there are numerous cameras around the entire Disney park, and oh, yeah. all of the employees at any given time can look at the cameras, and you can actually call the support station, and they'll say, "Look at this area over here and wave," and they'll you can <laughs> wave at someone while they're like talking to them on the phone. It's really creepy. It's really creepy. I don't like that. Yeah. That that might ruin Disney. No, I'm kidding. But if you ever actually want to know like little hidden secrets of like the park and stuff, I'm like your go-to inside. I don't want to know too much because I don't want to ruin my experience. The okay. magic. Okay, it's magical. Just, right? we, we need to drink around Animal Kingdom sometime. You told me about all these drinking I told places you. I didn't know. I scoped it out for you. I know where all the bars are. I want those mini cheese... The, the, no, the, um, the buffalo sliders. The buffalo chicken sliders. It's Link and Sam. Yep. I just I just wanted to tell you. So that's what I've been fucking babe, crying about. Babe, babe, Jelly Beans says, you know the camel that spits on you in Adventureland? A Magic person Kingdom? controls that. What a dick. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But you gotta tell her the other thing too. It's or someone's not, job to, to hit a button. Jelly, Jelly Bean oh, no. says she will babysit for us anytime, babe. Babysit? Yeah. 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 She said yeah. She said yeah excitingly, not like. Yeah, joking. see? Because we have exchanged like female love to each other. To, yeah. mm -hmm. That's hot. She's talking about you guys exchanging female love. It happens. <laughs> she, says, she says it happens sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Link is kissy. <laughs> All right, well, Jelly Bean, do you have any question for the jam? No, that was it. I just wanted to tell you those two things. That's all, all right, well, you have a good night. I love your face. I'm going to go back. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. She's gone. <laughs> I, just, I, didn't even mean to, I didn't even mean to pull her out mid-sentence. But you did. But I did. Link is mad. Turn it. So you got to see his face. Guys, look at Link. Again, iTunes. Look, look at how You got to see Link. Link is Dorbs. Huh? Nobody's gonna see our address on his tag. I can barely read that. I can't. I can't. Look, you can't even look at that. You tell it. You're dumb. You're dumb, babe. There's no resolution. Like they would. Here, take this puppy. Bye, Link. You adorable little man, you. I need a link in my life. See now you're she's she's purposely covering the medallion with her finger. Screenshot sent it to the lab. Enhance. Enhance. And by that you have a picture of Peach. <laughs> I think I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it for today, Kevin. Alright, well iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher. Uh please rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Yeah, that please. Is very important please, guys. to us. Um, if you use the, if you guys are in my Twitch chat right now, you can use the command uh, the jam, and it'll give you a link to our, our iTunes page. Please go over there and send some love so we could grow this thing on iTunes. Yeah, please. Um, again, we'll be back next week, Wednesday night, right? Wednesday night. I got next no week. problem Wednesday night. Cool, dude. We'll be back next Wednesday night with more of the jam. Uh, thank you guys for watching and listening, and you're all super sex. Thank you, iTunes. Adios. Cool. We